already cursed. <laughs> so, hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, I don't know. Is y'all seeing it clear and stuff? Is it coming through? I don't know. Hey, okay. What's going on? Thank you for coming to Ask Shaky. This is, I don't know. We used to do this a long time ago. Not really a long time ago last year. I don't think we did one this year yet. Oh, we may have. But I was working on a new format for it, and we actually have a setup line for it now. What's going on? How everybody doing? Welcome. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I have to say that. Um, I'm always begging for something seem like, <laughs> so I'm begging now. Make sure y'all all your mugs. The price will go up actually tomorrow. No step. The price on the mugs are going back up to twenty dollars. Um, also right now, if you order your mug through like right here, you get uh, I will get the the promo code is P A D D Y. I'm not gonna type it if you don't know it. What's going on, Brandon, girl, sister? I'm gonna see you. In, um, coming up, my sister. Ah, good tea. That's some good tea. That's real tea. It's uh, like a peach tea that I'm working on. Concoction. I'm using this new sweetener called Rithritol. It's so cute. Um, y'all can't hear. Can y'all hear? Can everybody hear me? Is the mic working? Got your mug yesterday. Good. That's great. Yeah, you got everybody must be hearing me. So make sure y'all get your mug. Congratulations on your mug. So you're sticking like shaking. Yeah, it might be your phone. Go out and come back in. If you can't hear, yeah, just go out and come back in and then you'll be able to hear. All right, so we have a, a different format now. As y'all can see, it's a new number, 863-402-SIP or 863-402-747. That is the line, and it's it's new because now the calling feature, it has a screener. So when you call in, it actually, I don't use no promo for my mug. I didn't use no promo for my mug. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you knew ASL. Look at you. I'm a nerd. I know everything. <laughs> Y'all didn't know that. Um, I don't. I don't know who's it. <laughs> um. Oh, no, we so yes, if you call in, I don't know. So I don't. I hope I'm doing it right. So if you call a number, it has a screener. It's a digital thing. We're testing it out to see how it works. And so whenever you call in, so this is X Shaker. You can call in and ask me anything. It's going to ask you your name, and it's going to ask you if you um want to if you want if you want to um. Okay, so I'm a nerd, but. So my so I'm gonna talk about what my sign language journey was. Okay, also this live is sponsored part by Soup Cosmetics. Make sure y'all get your girl if y'all get this stuff. Listen. So we've had over ten thousand dollars worth of sales on SipCosmetics.com. Six ah, SipCosmetics.net. My apologies. I can't keep saying that. So um, that's all I can say. You better get in that boat. Um. So, what I want to tell you was, oh, we have a call in queue. So let's uh, let me get to the call and see what it is we want to do. What they're talking about. So it tells me what you call in, what you call in for. So it doesn't it's screen the call. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know why. It's, did, did did you did it tell you your name? Well, let's just get in. Let's well ETL testing. Okay, I don't know what they said. So let's let's talk to them. How you doing? Welcome to Ask Shaky. Hey, babe, it's me. I was just testing. You know I'm moving. <laughs> oh, girl, so you just was just testing how this work? Yes, I want to see how it worked. Did my name come up? It, it, it said, yes, it did. It just said, um, instead, of, it says, well, ETL testing. So I, saw, I was like, what the testing? What is that? So, yes, it did. It did kind of come up, sort of, kind of. Because I thought it would like show their name or whatever the code name would be. Would you say your name? I just said my name and then I just said testing. Right. 
So what it does, it tries to transcribe. So, okay. all right. I have, we have a few callers in queue. We have actually a few callers in queue. Well, one, well, two. Uh, so, Let me get off the phone. You just okay, goodbye. Okay, All right. So, drop call. So, I could drop call. Oh, God, this is awesome. So, welcome somebody from Savannah, Nikki from Savannah, Georgia. What's going on? Hey, Shakey. How you doing, all? I'm doing all right. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, I'm doing great. Baby, I've been following you since the beginning. Thank you so much. I love you. Tell me about these bitch Okay, so listen, you just go to simplecosmetics.com. It is a tea infused witch hazel. And as you know, Graham used to tell us all about witch hazel and how it's good for pretty much everything that she could possibly name. Well, this witch hazel is tea infused and it's for a number of reasons, it's for a number of things that affect our skin, namely acne problems, namely discolorations, tone. It's just a wonderful product. I love it to death. It's four simple ingredients. Um, Clinical grade alcohol, majority of which has the water and eucalyptus tea, which happens to open up your pores to allow the good natural pro pro properties of which has to take over and just clear that skin up. And so it's good as a makeup remover because it's good for removing any type of gunk and stuff that our face gets in it during the day. The clinical grade alcohol is a... Um, what that is doing is killing any type of bacteria, infections, or something that's just naturally in our face. So getting rid of bumps, discolorations, it's good for all that. It's a natural, it's witch hazel is a natural tonic, a natural astringent that actually does that. And that's what bitch hazel is. So bitch hazel is my take on it. It's a tea infused witch hazel. And right now it's going for the pre-sale price of $24.99. If you sign up for lose letter, you get 10% off your order. So you're really getting it for like $22. And it's and not a small, it's right. like a real big, it's eight ounces. Like I'm a big person, so my hands are big. And so what happens is, this is a lot. Like I really use it twice a day. And I have been using this bottle. for My daughter took my last bottle. So seven, ever since this was like a week. And I haven't even taken a dinner. So it lasts a while. It's not, you get a good value on it. Trust me. Um, Ship right to your door. We have, we have, we have sold right. literally $10,000 $10, worth of sales. Now that didn't mean it's ten thousand dollars worth of profit. It just means ten thousand dollars worth of sales. So, um, but yeah, that's pre yeah, yeah, pre -sale. yeah. So, but that's that's something we have something like eight hundred and fifty some odd, almost eight hundred sixty orders like because we got four more today. So, uh, it was literally like almost eight hundred sixty orders. So they they're going and um they're made in America. All our products are made right here in the USA. Uh, the, our manufacturer is right here in Saint Petersburg, Florida, and nothing from China. We ain't waiting on no China or nothing like that. You, you order, you get it. And that's kind of like what it is. Okay, so is Vichay the only skin product you got? No, we have some. No, 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 no. So did you, go to the, did you go to the website and check it out? Because we have a, we have four items. We have three items for the skin outside of Bitch Hazel and one item for the lips, which is sip gloss for the lips. So we have the eye gel, which is a cucumber eye gel, which is good for like wrinkles and fine lines and bags under your eyes. We have the charcoal mask, which is an exfoliating mask. I use it once a week. I recommend everybody use it like once a week just to kind of exfoliate the skin and uh, get that out. And we have the tea face mist, which is a very good moisturizer, hydrator. Moisturizer, hydrator is better than, girl, it's better than lotion. I don't even put lotion on my face at all. Nah, nothing. I, I spray and go. I love spraying it and make your face feel all wet and moisturized. I swear to God, I love it to death. It's not an oily type moisturizer. It's also tea infused. It's like a, it's like green tea and white tea in that one. It's, it, it's, it's everything. So I use, what I do is I use the bitch hazel to clean. So I, this is my regimen. Morning, bitch hazel. Morning, bitch hazel. Spray my mist out the door. Um, once a week, I do the charcoal mask, and I'm gonna do more videos on this as, as we go along. I wasn't honestly, I wasn't. Ex I'm surprised at the amount of sales that we have because I was expecting to grow into this you business. Shouldn't be surprised, bitch. You bought I didn't know that, dude. I didn't know it like that. I didn't know it was gonna be like, girl. I was. I'm. I swear to God, when the, and, and the emails was just coming, I had to turn the notifications off because the email was like, "What the hell going on?" I check in. I'm like, oh my God. So I thought I had time to actually do separate videos and plan it out and plan it. I don't have time. You need, to, you need to do a face bundle. Do you have a face bundle? What are you talking about? What are you, what, are you, what are you talking about, sister? We have the tea bag out there. The tea bag is $99. You get all five products and a free gift for $99. What are you talking about? We have it all. 
You get all products and yeah, God. And listen, if you use the code, you get it for ninety dollars. Sign up for the newsletter, and you get it for ninety dollars. Okay. And then so we're gonna be doing skin tech, skincare tips, all kind of stuff. We're gonna be putting on the YouTube channel. But I just didn't know it was gonna do that. I thought I had a couple of weeks to play with it, um, because I had just quit my job Friday. Yeah, I, quit. I just quit my job Friday, and so like <laughs> I thought, oh well, just the, the week while I'm doing pre-orders, I could just work on all that stuff like that. Uh, uh-uh, I can't. So <laughs> I gotta really do it like tomorrow. <laughs> So you, girl, you, go to, you, got, you ain't got time for we, we, us sippers, we on the, we, we on your motherfucking line, but we on your line. Come yeah. on with it. Yes, <laughs> that's my fault. That's my fault. I underestimated the power of the sipper yet again. And y'all have showed me in abundance that y'all will go ahead and, 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 and support, you know, without me even showing y'all like exactly what, I mean, I talked about it. Everybody was just so excited about it. And they, it, it's just been selling. It's just a, there's 300 something. Right. We you, bitch. You I, see Come on I see that. Come I, I, right now. Come I, on. I see that. I see that. <laughs> I see that. So um yeah, that's what it is. Make sure you go to simcosmetics.net. Go get your go get yours. Did you go buy uh buy some oh, I'm, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my bundle. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get my slip bag. Don't don't worry about it. I got I, you. I love you. That's right there. I love you. I love you so much, sister. <laughs> I love you too, boo. Thank uh, you so much. Keep right. doing what you're doing, baby. I'm loving it. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. All right. Okay. All right. So next we have Shawnee. It looks like she's from Houston. Shawnee. How you doing, Shawnee? You on live with Shaky X Shaky. What's going on, sweetie? Hello, Shaky. How are you doing this fine evening? I'm all right. How are you, sweetie? I'm well, thank you. I was calling to ask you about the picture that I sent you earlier today. The I don't know if you, well, I didn't even get a chance to see it. The picture that you sent at what time? Well, how did you send something to me? I sent it to you in your DM. A picture of uh, big red, but he was redone as a new person. What? Wait, wait, wait. I put his face on big red from um, the five heartbeats. Oh, I did see that. Yes, I did like and laugh. <laughs> Yes, I did. I did see. I thought it was hilarious. I did I see. I did I did. I'm like, what you talking about? What you talking about? I did see. Yes, I did. I, I did see, and I thought it was. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> okay, I was calm because I thought it was just too funny, and I really hope that the situation resolves itself. Okay. Keep doing the work that you're doing. I think you're doing great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah, I love you. All right. All right. Thank you, blessings. I appreciate you. That's in the room. <laughs> They were accent. She sent a picture that was uh photoshopped of the five heartbeats. Um, so I don't know if y'all don't know. So this thing, if y'all in Atlanta, thank you, money. <laughs> um, Angela. Um, guess what I could do? I could call you back because I'm about to call one back now. We were testing this out. So this caller actually called and hung up. So we're calling them back and see what happens. I have reached the voicemail box. Ah, 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 blah, 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 Brandy, yes, we will be in Atlanta real soon. I might be in Atlanta sooner than that, though, Brandy. Um, something coming up that might be taken to Atlanta. So, yes, this is the X Shaky. This is the X Shaky. So, call me at the number that you put, 863 or 863-400-2747. I'm answering any and all questions, advice, if you, tell, if you, don't, if you don't like me. <laughs> if you like me. <laughs> If there's any men out there visiting the Queen of Atlanta, she, uh, no, 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 no. I, I do gotta talk to. I got. I would talk to. Uh, we, me. I, I'll tell you about that. The princess. Uh, no, no. I'll be dealing with definitely one of the queens of Atlanta. So we do have a call coming in from the two four O uh area code. I don't know who it is. Uh, just placing. Let's talk to him and see what's going on. How you doing? Welcome to X Shaky. I thought I pressed the right button. 
Did I press it right? Um, maybe not. Hello? Caller? You guys will do a show with T.S. Madison? Press. They said I'm online with the caller, but I don't think I am. Caller, hello? Maybe not. I don't know what I did just now. Let's call it back. So I wish I, I can actually show you on the screen. Watch. Well, I'm going to have to show you all people number. All right. So it tells me I can't block out people number. Let me see if I can show that like this. Ah, uh, yes, I could. So I'm going to show you what the, the, the situation looks like. It looks something like this. It tells me like how long I've been on, whatever it is, the call is skipped. So these are the terminated calls. So when somebody calls, it'll say, you know what it is. It's a uh, it's the call in studio app. It's really nice. That would be interesting. UNTS. I wipe my feet as an inter chat. I know they ain't playing. But oh, more money. <laughs> Y'all just like to see me that. Don't be calling these people back. I know you already get one about by accident. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I did. Let me take this off the screen so I can put it back over there. Oh, y'all acting, y'all acting scary. I don't like it. What y'all scared? Did I do it? Is y'all okay? Is it working? Does it, can somebody do a test somebody and see if it's working? I love you too. All right. So in the meantime, in between time, I'll just go ahead and talk about what I want to talk about until we receive a call or something because I don't know what. Can I get my question answered, please? Can you call in? Can you call in? You call it. I think that's, yeah, that's wise. Yeah, she's, okay, so it's working. It's working. I see you working. What's going on, Fredu? Let me call it and air it out. No, Juju. <laughs> you can't call it. Oh, we have a call. We have actually a call. So it's screaming a couple calls now. I was about to start talking about my <laughs> walk in the park, girl. <laughs> that's what y'all want to do. Yes, testing, testing. It works. All right, I see you, Um, wise. Thank you for the test. Unless somebody did, uh, did okay. I'm going to drop the call. All right, so sticks. Let's see. How you doing? Welcome. You're on live with Shaky. What's going on? Hello? Hello? Yes, Shaky. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? You're on live with Shaky. I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. How you doing, baby? I'm fine. Just stick. Hey, what's going on? I don't know. I'm, I want to know when you come in to the Dallas area. When am I coming to the Dallas area? The best answer I can give about when I'm coming somewhere is usually when they book me. Um, lately, though, this is what I've done. Um, as far as emceeing, I really don't do it too much no more. Hey, my radio. Oh, hold on one second, baby. Hey, my radio. I love, I love, I love y'all. I love you. I love y'all. So, um, so, so the the best answer is when they book me. Unfortunately. I've placed a value on myself as I've became like I, I of course as y'all know I started out as a New Orleans bouncing seat and host and I just went into kind of like getting into vlogging lately and so it's vlogging and emceeing kind of like are the same thing but just in a different thing a different thing so I'm basically an MC on the internet in a sense that's what a vlogger or a blogger really is they talk about what's going on they tell you up next we have and you know whatever whatever so um as far as coming to the Dallas area. Uh, it's kind of like whenever they book me. However, the people that know me in most places now, they know me as a vlogger. They don't understand the bounce MC component of what I actually do. And so, um, yeah. so like, it's kind of like whatever. So in New Orleans, of course, they know about me being able to host and do a shakedown and all this other stuff like that. But my prices have went up lately. I've always talked about before, the bigger your numbers, the bigger the check. And so what happens is so I, my numbers that got bigger, so of course the check has. So and they can't perform well, in New Orleans to bounce MC and outside of New Orleans, they don't really know the mechanics of it. They don't even think they need an MC. They think they need, just need to book an artist and that's it. But you need an artist, a DJ, and an MC. That's a whole other thing for the whole other day. So when I'm coming down is when they book me. When they book me, I think when they find out how they can make money off of me. That's why. So the best thing for yeah. you to do to get me in Dallas is to go talk to a club promoter and explain it a little bit more. Because they just really own them. Okay, so 
I know you said you wasn't really going to talk a lot about the coronavirus and all this stuff, but do you feel like it has halted some of your movement and ability to go other places and do shows and stuff? Me personally, no, I don't think so. Um, I said I wasn't going to give advice on the coronavirus because I'm not a doctor. And people were sending me and asking me stuff. Oh, well, what you think I should do? Should I wipe this stuff down? Baby, I'm not an infectious disease professional. I don't know. But you should do whatever you need to do to make sure you and your family are safe. That's not even a question. Right. So I'm not going to tell you, do this, don't do this, or nothing. I'm going to definitely tell you, do whatever you need. Get some information from people who understand this better than me. I'm smart and I'm a nerd, but that doesn't mean I'm an infectious disease person. And so I don't know how it spread. Truthfully, I've heard many things. And so with, by me hearing so many things, I know this. I'm not that smart. So I'm not going to tell you, oh, yeah, you can just go outside and do what you want to do. And then you go outside and do what you want to do. And then you catch this, this disease. And then you come to me and say, well, shake you told me I can go outside and do what I want to do. No, I'm not going to say nothing on it because I don't know. But from what I've been saying, so, so, but your question was, so that's what I said. I didn't say I wouldn't talk about coronavirus. We can talk about coronavirus. This is something that's really happening. It's not fake. It's not fake news. There is a virus. It is killing people. This is true. How many people, how much of it is? Is it this, that, and the other? Oh, my God. That's a, that's the question. But the fact that there is a virus, it's true. And we could talk about it. I don't have a problem talking about it. But what I will not do is give you advice on how to take care of you and your family. I'm not that smart. And anybody that's a vlogger or an entertainer that tries to, they are very, they're very, they're not, they're not responsible. And, and and it just was my responsibility because people were coming to DM, people DM me all the time, asking me, "Oh, you think I should do this? You think I don't know? I'm not answering those questions." So as far as the coronavirus has it affected my ability and stuff like that? No, I'm a vlogger. So here I'm, I make money here. I make money when people order product. Somebody send me to somebody. You see me titty about like that, or whatever the case may be. That's how I make my money. So it hasn't really stopped my money. You order a mug, I make a little. I make a couple of dollars. Did you order your mug? Did you order your mug? I need to. I want to order. I want to order the mug and the whole tea bag though. Okay, so check this out. The mug is on on the sip shop because it's merchandise. The tea bag is on sip cosmetics because it's actually a cosmetic thing. Those are two separate things. I'm so sorry. I'm looking for a way that I can join them, but the the yeah. the, 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 the 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 merch, the, how we got it, it won't integrate with the Shopify on a, on a sip. So I would have to make a whole new Shopify store and try to integrate it that way. And so um, I'm not at that point yet, but so you can order your mug. But listen, I got discount codes on both of them for you just today. One of them for your mug is P-A-D-D-Y. You use that code, you get 10% off the mug. And the mug, the price is going up at 12 one a night, Central Time. So you get it for $14 okay. minus 10%. You get $1.40 off and get it for like 13 so. The promo code for SIPCosmetics.com is SC space 10. SIP Cosmetics 10. It's going to be 10% off SIP Cosmetics merchandise too. That promo code is not going to expire right now. It's going to, that's basically my pre order code. So you get 10% off that way. So you get the pre order price plus 10% off on both of them. So you're saving money high, everywhere you go. So it's basically paying for your shipping in some sense. If you order the tea bag, it's nine dollars. It's free nine dollars. So it does. It's money, but you know, you got it. All right. Thank you so much for taking my call. Not I work in the medical profession. Everybody, stay safe. Do what you need to do, like you said. Love you to pieces. Y'all have a good night. Love you too. Thank you so much. All right. So we have a call in queue. Charity, welcome to the line. Hey, how you doing, baby? I'm all right. How you doing, my love? My love, what's going on? Okay. What you want to know about? Okay. So, you know, it was a lot of talk around it, and people were saying that um, possibly Shay, her assistant, was supposed to have been watching the baby and had been negligent, and that's how the baby ended up drowning. Okay. All right. I've heard that as well. Do you have any. Um, 
info about their situation? I, so, just honestly speaking, this ask shake is so I'm gonna answer the question, but I'm a, I'm gonna answer what I, see. See, this is so hard because Judy is very Judy is a very crafty woman, if I could say anything else. It's not like, you know, like I guess with trying to find out information on other people is very easy. It's very, very easy. Trying to find out information on this woman is extremely difficult. I will tell you that this is this I've been challenged before with trying to find what I'm looking for. But in this case, I got to give her this. A lot of times I run into a brick wall or I run into a legal NDA this or NDA that and stuff like that. So to know what's going on, I know we don't speak on kids. I'm not speaking on kids. I'm speaking on the situation about what happened afterward. And I'm going to explain it in a second, Judge Frederico. So um, listen, I'm not talking about the girl or the tragedy. Understand, I say tragedy because this is tragic. But I'm speaking on the ramifications after. So whatever you have heard, um, uh, Miss Charity, is basically what I've heard. And we've all heard the same thing. As far as the, the ramifications after, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Because I want to see what this, I want to see what Judy did. I want to see what this was there. I want to see what that was there. And it's very difficult to try to find well, that. I mean, you know, the next day, it was like back to business as usual. Like, she did the little live video with her sniffling in the background and playing gospel music. And then, you know, that was around the same time that the video came out. You know, the video where the little girl was in her hair braid and sitting between the mama legs and the mama saying, oh, we stink. And so she went online and did a marketing tip uh, in reference to that video saying, oh, if you have certain products, uh, Yoni products, the Yoni pearls, y'all could have used this video. Yo, and like she was giving marketing tips in reference to this video, but yet the day before this baby lost her life on at your residence, and it was like back to business as usual. Like anybody that has a heart or a conscience would be devastated by something like this. Right. Um. I don't think this woman. I think you know. I, I think this is my opinion right now. And and I, and, and listen, we, we just gotta. I'm, I'm just, and we just. I, I I'll be honest with you. There's a group of some of the former Kaleidoscope kids and I. We share a group on Instagram. And today we had a conference call and talked about the same thing. Not as far as what what actually happened or how it happened or what happened to the girl, but what happened afterward. And what the adults were doing. And the only thing that I have learned about this whole thing with this woman is that she, I think, I think she's heartless. And let me tell you why I think she's heartless. I think she's heartless because I, I, I'm, a, I'm a new business owner. And so I just know that as a new business owner, and this was going on, and people are looking at me as what's going on, Brianna? As I'm not, as as I'm a person who's not. You you you. Is this the picture that people were painting of me as a business owner and a woman who perpetuates to be of God? And the best thing I can say is I'm not letting him. I'm not letting him out the contract just so I don't have to prove I'm wrong. That's hard. So, right. so some of the things that I've heard that you've heard too about going back to work the next day, just like it was nothing happened. I don't find it surprising once I figured out how truly heartless she is. Um, and so as far as you saying like, okay, well, what happened and how it happened, I, I don't know. I've heard everything that you've heard, plus probably some more. But the aftermath is what scares me because I do know somebody that was there, and I've talked to somebody else who was there, was there, and the one thing that's that's common is that they feel like they cannot talk to nobody about it. So it's never been a true situation that's been done or looked at. 
Now, while I did get some leeway and did talk to some people that did give me a few little drops of tea here and there, it was nothing to put together a conclusive thing. And if she did, in fact, make people sign NDAs after this after this tragedy, then that just goes to prove how truly heartless she is. Do I think she's heartless? I certainly do. Um, do so, and, and that's the and that's the that's the case on it. I don't. And know. You can only imagine how traumatizing it was for people who were there. Like, in like, you would even make the situation situation better if like she paid for counseling or therapy for the mother or anybody else that was there when it happened and and, and I, I don't, don't want to like and I don't know if she didn't <laughs> or did because guess what everybody is afraid to talk I have heard rumors this is rumors not fact that she was making people sign NDA before they even call it the ambulance before they dialed 911 the, the lawyer was called so I don't know. I don't know. We're trying to I, and, and getting to the bottom of this. Like I said, she's crafty and, and she knows how to put stuff in position. So it's a little bit tougher. But I mean, with somebody who's bored and persistent and miserable <laughs> like myself, <laughs> it's not. But I mean, I wish she saved me and her some time and free little James. That's all she got to do. Free little James will walk away. I, I, I walk away. I think she owes those a lot of kids an apology as well. I thought I'd get that because she don't want to think she's wrong. People like that believe that the world revolves around them and they, the, they believe that they pretend to believe in God, but they don't. They pretend to believe that there's a higher power, but they don't. Because if you believe there was a higher power, you know you had to answer for you. You believe then you have to answer for your deeds. And, and, and because she don't feel like she needs to answer for her deeds, she feels like she can do whatever, whenever, however, fuck over whoever. That's what she feels. I think she's heartless. I think she's very narcissistic. I think she's a demon on this earth. I really until I, until I see otherwise, so until she shows me like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and free Lil James, she's a demon on this earth. You know what I'm saying? Hello? Oh. Well, we got somebody else calling. Hello? What did I press? I press here. I'm sorry. Hi, no name. <laughs> Hi, no name. How you doing? Welcome to Sipping with Shay. I'm good. How are you, please? I'm okay. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you what happened. What I want to talk about is the, the complex that she owns on the North Shore and the one that she owns in the East. Our company has done business for a third party to complete her insurance and appraisal. Okay. What I can tell you is the amount that she purchased her property for in the East was not what she claimed that she did on the, when she did her little live, I'm making all these moves. But she did insure it for $22.6 million. So she stands to make so much money if anything happens to that building. So when we went in to do an inventory of um, all of the things that she sells from her Clydescope um, distribution area, all of those products were insured for $163 million. There were only 17 boxes that were actually located on the site. She said she was having additional boxes to be stored in the warehouse within the next week. So if we wanted to come back, we'd see additional boxes. So I don't know if she was aware that we would not need to come back because we didn't need to prove anything. But the things that she said that she had that were listed on the documents we were looking for, we never saw. Wow. So there's a lot of things that she's doing that she knew about. So I don't know if it all plays a part of why Shay is just not around, but we met with Shay today and we did our walkthrough 
and there's a lot that we just felt was interesting. So we did report it to where we needed to report it to. But, you know, everything comes to the light. And Shaky's probably going to find it all. But, you know, so listen. she's a scammer at this point. Okay. She's a scammer. We knew that. We knew that. We knew that. I knew that when the information was coming out about the first, the first, the very, very first thing with burning down her hair salon. So just to recap, she, your right. company, your, just the, you insure things and what you do with your what you do as an insurer is that your company comes and do assessments based on what is being so before something happens you turn in basically like a, a, an inventory of what you have at a place if you own a business you you have to turn in an inventory this is what i have here this is what's usually kept here right. this is what kept here so when so when if something do happen you don't say well i have 50 70 90 million dollars worth of stuff there you turn an initial assessment about this is what i have and once they do that you as a company come out and do an inspection to ensure that the things are there that they're saying they're there. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. We're a surveying company. You're a surveying company. And so when you surveyed a property that had $22 million worth of property and $153 million worth of inventory, you went and you found only 17 boxes of Kaleidoscope. That's That's correct? 17 boxes. 17 boxes. And That's she, so y'all reported that you only saw 17 boxes, but she was like, oh, some more coming next week or something like that, right? That's what it was. Right. Right. Okay. I just want to just make sure I understand that as clearly as possible. So, as a, so do you, so, okay, now this is just my, my asking your opinion about, Usually, when people are doing that, what are those type of people doing? As somebody who is a, uh, I would say, it's, you surveyor, so you you have expertise in this area, so you are technically an expert in know what's going on. So what? So my thing is, when people are saying they have stuff that's not actually there, what are those people? What do you think those people are trying to do? They're trying to commit fraud, and we have to report it to the insurance commissioner or the insurance commissioner's office. Um, and then they will ask us to go and get detailed photos of each individual unit that that person owns. So we got photos of the inside of every unit for her dorm east location and for the property that she has on the on the North Shore. She actually purchased that property, I think it was one point two million that was listed on our report and she um, insured that building for a little over I want to say it was a little over 10 million or some more change but it's, it's a smaller shopping center but we reported may I ask if you report something to the insurance commissioner does that become public record the report It only becomes public record if fraud actually does happen and the law and then law enforcement agencies are contacted to deal with the fraud. Okay. So as of right now, it's just one of those things like she could commit fraud and get money from that, but since she hasn't done anything wrong, it's just she's securing her assets. Oh, good. But she's previously had a massive claim from a previous fire, so it's still kind of suspicious. Very suspicious if you ask me. <laughs> I wouldn't say kind of. <laughs> I mean, I would say that's highly suspicious. That's like me walking around with a bunch of tax right. documents. Like, hey, what are you doing with those? It's like me walking around with um, a fast tax <laughs> computer. That's like, it's just, hey, oh, oh. I might not be doing nothing, but you know, you're just not going to catch me with it. Oh, okay. Well, I do thank you for stopping by and sharing that with us. I will actually, if you can uh, DM me, I would love to talk to you uh, or send some or uh, email me. Just I would, I would never, I never expose my sources. Uh, I'll show you that. 
Um, but I'm gonna actually look into it and and, and contact the Department of the, the, the Insurance Commission just to see just to see if everything's on the up and up, just to make sure that everything's on the up and up and up and up and up and up. And if not, well, hey, she'll be free. Lil James won't have to be free too much longer. They'll be saying free somebody else in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole other thing. I do appreciate you calling. Thank you so much for calling the um X the X Shady. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I, good night. Good night, baby. I just can't believe that. Hmm. <laughs> T burning my day home. Whew. Whew, shut up. T burning my throat. How you doing, sister? What's going on? Hello. How you doing? Welcome to the Egg Shaker Show. What's going on, sweetie? I'm good. I um DM'd you and I wanted you to go read it and give me some advice. Okay. And this is Bella. Uh -huh. Okay, so I, 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 I do. I don't. I guess you don't want to put your real name. What? So how, what? What DM are I looking for? Because I swear to God, sister, I have. I just DM you. You DM me. So last DM I got is from a, another blogger. <laughs> so I don't know. Which does your name start with? You can tell me the name is Thorpe Okay, gotcha. Well, you look, girl, you got a burn page, girl. Oh, you just made the Instagram? All right. Can I read it out loud or do you want me to go what? Yeah. Okay. How do I tell him what I heard and don't think it's going to work? My no, it's a full, it's a full paragraph. <laughs> That's all I got, sister. I'm, I don't, I'm going to show you. All I got is one little paragraph. That's all I got. Sweetie. That's all I got. Oh, there you go. You yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want some advice. So I went to school with this boy who is now in prison and served almost eight years and is due to get out in May. We used to mess around in high school when he first went to jail. We were still in contact, but we lost contact for the years. We recently got back in contact with each other and talk and email every day. So once I was on the phone with him and he was telling someone to stop playing with him while he was on the phone, I didn't think much of it, but I'm in love with your prison story. So they always play in my mind. Hello, today we was just on the phone and this just fucked my whole up, fucked up my whole understanding. He said, hold on, and was telling somebody to get away and stop playing while he was on the phone. And I heard a feminist voice saying, why, why? And he said, get the fuck away from me. And I hung up immediately. I actually don't know what to think because I was going to give him a chance. When he got out, we said we was going to be together, but I don't think so at this point. How do I tell him I heard what how do I tell him what I heard? I don't think it's going to work. Mind you, I bought him some jogging suits, some shoes, underwear, t-shirts. I'm taking all that shit back. I'm low-key hurt because that really you to be my man back. That really used to be my man back then. Ooh, should I? That's a good question. You could have just asked me that. <laughs> all right, that was, I would have loved to hear that in your voice because I've heard it in mine. And I don't know yours, but I want to tell you this. Um, I don't know what's going on. I will say this. If you bought him some sweatpants and stuff, stuff sis, get it to him and call it a day. Because guess what? Let me say something. Uh -huh. You know, don't, don't hold on to it like that. Um, he's in jail. He's this this true. Uh you, you can't stop that. It is what it is. Um the jail is truly, and I've said this before, an unnatural place for any man. I don't know this man and I don't know this case, but I will say this. I would think, it, while my, in my jail experience, there was half the niggas that I was around that did mess around. But guess what? That also means there was half of them that just didn't. So every man up in there not doing this, what you think. It's not all of them. It's not 100% of them. Is it your man? I'm not sure. I don't know. I cannot say yes, but I certainly can't say no either. But it comes from knowing... Know do, but do you know him? Yeah, but I just know what I heard. Do, do, so do you know, does he, has he ever shown you any types of signs of homosexuality ever in your life? Do you know him? No. Oh, you don't know him? So he, oh, no, he never showed I'm so sorry. He's, I'm saying, no, he never showed me no signs. Okay, gotcha. And so you have not talked to him about it. You just hung up the phone. You just heard you, you heard some sister in the background talking about why. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> What is your what is your women's women? Y'all have something that I like to call um 
intuition. And I wish I could just take, just somebody give me some of their so I could understand what's going on at the time. And that would get my heart from getting broke all the time. But let me ask you this. So do you, what, just, what does your women's intuition tell you? Intuition, run. Intuition, <laughs> run. Fair, okay? Sister, follow your first mind. Follow your first mind. Okay. If that's what you think, follow your first mind. I don't know the case. I don't know. I wish I did. And just say, oh, girl, yeah, he messed around. Oh, no, he ain't. You got a picture of him? I could take it. I'm going to switch over to him. I don't want to see no picture of your man, girl. <laughs> I was... <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, but I'm I'm trying to make a lot of the situation, but it's a very serious situation. If you know what you heard, but let me ask you something this: Why don't you want to communicate with him about it? You don't want to talk to him about it at all to see what he said. You say why don't I want to? You say why don't I want to talk to him? Yeah. Because what would they like? Why would you say why? Why would you tell him to get away from him? Like. Well, no, it was just weird. I ain't gonna lie, sister. I'll tell you this though, sister. I used to, I used to, sometimes I used to write my my dudes, I used to write their girlfriend's letters. I know. I've listened to every single person. <laughs> sure was, so that's like, I think, I, I think it's so. I mean, I've, I've been there. And, and it's not like the first, that's not the first time, but the other times I probably was doing something where I was paying attention and. When he told him to get away from him, he really, you know, right. like he disappeared from the back. So I didn't really hear him no more. But this time, I was back there and I listened. Yeah. Girl, you might want to need to let him go. Because I remember being, yeah. I remember being the punk, listening to my trade talk to a girl and feeling some type of way. I used to feel some type of way. Because I feel like we was in love. I felt like I was really in love. Like we was really in, 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 in stuff. And we was really in, in, in. We was really in. I used to feel like, oh, we really in love, and so that used to drive me insane. You talking to this girl, she ain't but sending you fifty dollars, and you sitting up here, <laughs> and you sitting up here pounding at me every day. Yeah. That's how I used to feel. Like you don't tell me don't talk to you while she on the phone with her. But I was, you know, <sighs> I wish I could tell you something different. So you so might like, wanna... what do I tell him? Like tell him I just tell him like I heard or what? Tell him you heard, you think he gay, you don't want to fuck with it. Even if he not, you don't want to take the chance. Hear your sweatpants and stuff just because you're because from a human to a human and somebody you used to mess with. But if you, you know, tell me, I'm not gonna go around telling everybody you're gay, you're just not gonna stick that tongue dick in me. <laughs> I mean, right. it's really nothing else. That, I mean, it, 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 honesty, just be honest. I heard some stuff I'm not comfortable with, I don't trust it. I'm sorry. If you there's nothing you can do to convince me to make me change my trust because that's what you if we don't have a relationship, we don't trust, we don't have a relationship. So Baby, I, look here. You, he, baby, here's them sweatpants and stuff because I bought them, and you're a human being I used to mess with, and I don't have a problem with giving it to you because you probably need them. And I know how it is to get new stuff up in there. Just give me sweatpants, and I'm not trying to jeff for him. If you don't feel like giving it to him, don't give it to him. But I recommend just giving it to him because that's showing like I don't want. Look here, here it is. I don't want to be bothered with you. Go ahead, get your little sweatpants and tissue, whatever I bought you. It's a little comfort for you. He in jail. He pop, and then and, and and be done with it. I heard it. I don't feel comfortable with it, even if that's not what it was. I'm just not taking no chances because I don't trust it. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. How are y'all liking this new call-in thing? How are y'all liking it? Because I don't have to like, like, you know, you're not hearing the beeps and all that stuff like that. All right. Let's see. Oh, Charity, let's get you back in. Anonymous, you'll be next. What's going on, my baby? How you doing? You on the line? What's that? I'm sorry for making you wait long. Hey, thank you. This me, Charity. My phone in is dying on you. It's taking it. I know, because I'm just a talking. <laughs> girl, when I'm live, you better charge that thing up, girl. You better charge it up. Did you get your mug, girl? Yes. Okay. Everybody's saying Judah do voodoo. I if if, if and like many 
You know me, they know I'm cool with Dion. Dion is uh one of Judah's exes, her ex girlfriend. Actually, I just went to a seminar with Dion, uh, a seminar that's held by Dion. Shout out to Dion. Um, but what I think is this. Let me see something. This is what I think. Sister, that who do that stuff, you could do them sacrifices and stuff like that. I don't think that work. I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? Look, you, I don't think it worked. If she doing it, it's just, it's not going to ever work. I just do what I think it is. Do I think she's sacrificing super? I, I don't think that's the case. I, I think that Judy and Super's relationship as friends, from what I've researched, has been a relationship of mutual benefit. Judy benefited from Super because Super had a platform and a following. Super benefited from Judy because Judy helped her level up and polish up her platform and stuff. So that's what it was. When the relationship stopped being beneficial, they stopped being friends. That's what I think. Super has actually reached out to Lil J's mama. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, Super reached out to Lil J's mama, asked her if she, she was okay, you all right, you need anything. She didn't touch on the, the stuff was going on, but she reached out to Lil J's mama, asked her, what's going on, you all right? So their relationship, that's like, um, all right. So check this out. So Bitch Hazel comes from a, 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 a supplier in... St. Petersburg, Florida. They make products. They don't have a marketing division. They don't know how to sell them. They don't know how to make a website where you can just go and buy a product. You have to buy them and you know how they buy them, package them. So that's what they do. What I, I don't know how to go, I don't know how to be in a lab cooking up products. I know how to <laughs> I know how to tell you, girl, go get you some bitches. Make it nice and cute, put them live some, send them what I want. And that's what I know how to do. So when we get to a different level and I say, you know what? Hey, I'm going to buy my own factory and make my own bitch hazel myself. Hire people and stuff like that. So what sense does it make at that point for me to constantly buy the bitch hazel from them if I have a factory making it myself? That is kind of basically how their relationship is. It worked for a while. Judy may have been the fact that she got the product, she had the knowledge she of how to level up. But Super had the, the platform, which is basically the, the marketing to make a nice, put this a cute package, package design, green bottle, you know. So that's what Super had. And so it worked for each other. But once that wore off, they had no needs to be friends. I don't think Judy, I don't think Judy sacrificed the Super. I don't believe that voodoo stuff work like that. I don't think she's that crap. I think what Super got going on is what Super got going on. I think what Judy got going on is, is some heavy and deeper shit. But I don't think it's I don't I don't think it's that. Now, if I could be wrong, I don't I, just, I don't seriously. There's no need for her at this point to sacrifice Super. I've got what I want from her. That's not even a sacrifice. Right. And I wish, you know, when Shakana came on your live and she was talking
to help my business grow. And, um, but like after finding all of this type of shit out, like I don't even want to like, um, contribute to, um, all of this craziness with her holding these kids hostage and stuff. But nonetheless, I said all that to say this, um, I think more people should be aware of who we blindly uh, follow just because of like, oh, they find this on Instagram and doing this and doing that. When you don't actually know that person, you only see what they show you on Instagram. And that's like the thing I hate about uh, social media because people only show um, the positive stuff and people only show you what they want you to see. Um, so I, I think at the end of the day, you, smart move, not, su- not supporting them. Until she feel insurance, I don't think nobody should support her. I don't think nobody should buy a bitch ass thing and tell them insurance is free. I don't think so. I think everybody should just boycott it. If you, I don't know, just don't buy it. Until, I, I wish I could tell you, oh, go buy this stuff from somebody else. Until she feel insurance. If she feel insurance, then we'll buy stuff again. Until then, don't. Um, but I will say this. I think that um, what you said was a- absolutely right. Um, and it, it is hard if you don't have those connections. And they have them and they use them to their advantage to not let nobody in. And I think that's horrible as well. Um, I wish that they um, were a little more tr- 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 truthful with who they were and what they had instead of trying to bamboozle us all the time. And that's the thing that hurts the most. Um, the thing about the children, I think it's very horrible. And I would never stand for that. So I agree with you wholeheartedly, and I wish them, I wish them just do that. I mean, you know, at the end of the day. <sighs> right, because I agree with the other Kaleido mom. If it was me, I would have slapped the fuck out of you. Like, don't play with my baby. <laughs> do not play with my baby, bitch. I would have slapped the fuck out of you. Right. <laughs> and, 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 you know, we, we all feel like that. Like, don't play with the kids. I don't care what you do to the adult. If she did it to the adult, I would have said you're a business genius. You bamboozle these grown ass people. You are if if this was let's if she fast on and say all these, let's say all these kids was adults right now. Boom. They're all 25, 30, 15, whatever. And so she come out and then and then all of a sudden they come out like she little loves we was go. I'm like, uh-huh. That's smart. You a genius. You got them to promote them products for free. And you kept all the money and you just had them doing all this dumb stuff. And you sold them a dream, and they're grown ass people. I would have said, "Girl, she is the marketing and go." But for to do it to a three year old, and this boy was on the phone crying. I want my jewelry. What? Praying for him to right. pray. that that burned me up. That burned me up. Oh, I swear to God. So okay, I, all right. So I have a few other calls. I thank you for calling and sharing that with us. I appreciate you. We agree with your opinion. That was very good. Good luck on the real estate stuff. I'm not sure too much about that business, but I I, I hope you prosper with it. And I, I see it for you. So thank you. Thank you so much. I thank love you. you. Thank you. I love and you I will too. See you All right, my baby. All right. Bye-bye. All right. So we're finna let anonymous. I'm sorry it took so long. We got a few calls. And we're gonna um we got a few more calls coming there, coming in. So the other ones that are waiting, we're gonna get you in. I don't know what I did. I don't, I don't even know if I pressed the right button. Okay, here we go. What's going on on Anonymous? Oh, no, they're not going to say BWT. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yes, child. Man, I had to call for my man. Oh, baby. Can I watch this on YouTube, child? Child, I had to grab this phone. Okay. But, well, baby, good. I just want to say, you shake it. I love you, baby, and I oh. love what you're doing for these kids. I now, I do got a question. Now, what are we going to do if Judy don't let this man free from his country? Like, if in a way we all can donate a dollar to Lil James, two thousand fifty, donate a dollar so we can get him out of this country. Because, baby, I just don't believe this going to work. Two thousand people can ban this baby and put a dollar behind him and free him from this country, baby, because, baby, she will not win. And I just don't see her letting up with him having a million followers. I don't see her doing it. All right. So the conference call we had today discussed this very topic. What are we going to do if she just say, fuck it, I'm not doing it? Because legally, sh- let me say something. This is a bottle of bitchism. It is my bottle of bitchism. Now, you could go buy yours for $24.99. But if you want this one that I'm holding, 
I want to charge two hundred thousand dollars for. And guess what? It's mine. And no matter what you could do, legally speaking, it's mine. You can't have it. It's mine. And if you want your own, go get your own. But this one here is mine. And so okay. I could put whatever price I want. If I want to say, okay, well, this one here costs a million dollars. If I can find somebody willing to pay a million dollars, they can have it. If nobody won't pay a million dollars, it's mine. I can do what I want with it. It's mine. And so that's how she's playing with James' contract. Nah, it's mine. It's mine. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. I, it's mine. Whatever, whatever. And I think that's wrong. I think she shouldn't do that. But that's what she's doing. And legally speaking, it's her. Can't say that. So the question was, what do we do if she don't stop? Okay. So, so, the, the, so listen, this is what I thought. I don't want anybody to put any money up for and to buy this contract because what man, what that means is number one, she get the money, so she right. get the money, and number two, it, it pro, that means that the same mechanism that she used to do this to these children have failed the children too. So the best thing we could do right now, right now, until we figure out what the next step is is to make people aware and make people accountable. I don't think other vlogs have picked this up because they're scared of her. Right. I don't think other vlogs have picked this up because they're scared of her. And that makes me sick too. So I wish that, so the best thing we could do is make it aware. And the blogs that we subscribe to, the blogs and vlogs and the, the not just the, the the Steve Harvest and whoever's of the world, we have to share this story with them people and tell them, listen, I'm gonna stop watching you if you're talking about I saw somebody post on the neighborhood talk. You talking about this, but why are you talking about that? And somebody did reach out to me to see what was going on. You know? So the, the thing is, so the share room, you picked up this story, but you didn't pick up the story that was behind this story. Pick up this one too. Find out what's going on. So the best thing, because what happens is the more people is aware, listen, this is the, this is the, it's, it's like a peaceful protest in a sense. Uh, the mama saying, well, we want to go pop Julie. But no, what happens is the more people that's aware, the less people buy her product, the more it hurt our pockets. The I don't want it no more because that's, so we, the power we have against her is the economic part of it. Some parent right now didn't press that buy now button on her stuff just to show her, look, you're not going to get my money as long as you keep doing this to these kids. And you're not going to get it. It is what it is. So what we have to do is make people more aware of it at this time. Now, we did have a conference call, and Lil James Mama did come to the conference call and talked about strategies for next level because what we want to do, I want to do, you know me, I want to take it up a notch. I hate, okay. I had to hear another father yesterday tell a little girl to her face, you're not part of this. No more. And oh, that I thought it. Oh, baby, I was told. Yeah, baby, I seen it. And I, I had to. Like, why? Like, why? Oh, it, it was just so. Yeah. So, 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 so I'm burnt up. I want to turn it up a notch. Me. Okay. But I'm being advised by some very smart people. The the parents, the, the, the Kalata kids, Dylan Mama, Zori Mama, the, the, that group, that Mac Mama, um, Harmony, my Harmony Daddy, Wise, Sagittarius, these are and Lil James Mom. And I, I do respect them and how they want me to operate as much as possible. And I try to do that and take that into consideration. Because if it was me, I'd have just right. went on a tirade and yeah. called all kind of bitches and hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a tyrant call all kind of fat cheese and silicone habit. I would have went, you know me. I mean, if you, I, I'm going to, if you, yeah, if you want, if, yeah, if you want to go some old videos and you see how I talk about it when I get mad, because that's what I want to do from the get go. Wait, you, that's what I want to do. I want to put on my own bonnet, baby, and start doing all that. That's what I want to do. They come soon. We're talking, okay. They come soon. We're talking about my baby sleep. I 
honey, but I'm definitely gonna make sure I get the word out on my end and make sure I tell everybody in their motherfucking mom in Atlanta, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my baby. Okay. All right. All right, so we have another caller. Let's look like hello, stupid and Judy. Hello, hello? welcome to hello, welcome to. The yeah, I really just want to know what the fuck is going on when you know when Stupid and Judy did that toy giveaway. I think the bitch was off for Judy because the bitch is demanding and she's a devil and a demon. And then I was wondering if she paid Shay to take the fall for the little girl, and I wanted to know if the bitch had an insurance policy. All of the girls that she did LLC with the kids, man. Okay, so I'm actually I'm not that smart, so I'm gonna need you to ask some questions one at a time. What's the, the first? Your first question was, it did super back up because Drew is too demanding. Is that the thing? I have, I, I have a, a now, I, you know, on my, my channel, I deal with receipts, but I talk to people still just to see, you know, because I'm nosy too, and see what people say. So a lot of times, some of the rumors and stuff I hear, I can't really report on officially because I, there's no proof to it. But I would talk, I could talk about it like when we just talking like this, when we just having casual conversations, I could talk about it because yeah, this is, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thinking like the bitch so wicked and even listening to the insurance lady, I'm wondering if she really had a motherfucking insurance policy on this little girl. I've not heard because it. it was hard to talk about business because you put these kids as if they basically property LLCs in their name, and if the mother, if she had a contract on this little girl as well, and then paid uh, Shay a little percentage. Right. I don't think that was the case. I don't think that was the case with the strategy as far as somebody taking the fall. I think uh what the report as to what happened actually happened, and I believe it was a tragic accident. I do believe that. Um, I do not think it was set up as far as how you're saying, as far as like um, oh, we gotta do it like this and stuff like that, as far as the insurance policy. I'm not sure if that's actually um in effect as well. But I do know no, I that Um, no, I'm joking. So um, I, I do that, but I this is what it is. I have heard reports that Super and Judy have gotten into it before, and Super and told her like, "Bitch, you in my mouth." That's a report. I like I said, I have no uh, proof that. But Super have told that like, "Bitch, you in my mouth." Who you think you is? And see, that's what I was telling my own girl. I think they fell out because that bitch was trying to be too demanding and make us spend the motherfucking money up and don't want to have more than her. Your money invested when she pulling all kind of motherfucking insurance plays and shit. She really wants uh super with inventory, but she capitalizes. I got seventeen boxes, but I want twenty two big. See, she worked like that, nice man. Right. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised though. Don't. I wouldn't be surprised. This is another thing I wanted to know. Talk to him. Is it agreed that the contract is breached and Lil James is not fucking working? And if the daddy could petition that shit or do the mama wanna let the daddy get involved because she knows. Her son is a star to try to, hey, dad, say fuck that. I agree to this shit. Very soon, the we will know more about that. Um, we do have people looking into it uh, at press time, uh, but uh -huh. we will know that it's press time as far as the legalities around it. Because there's to so uh -huh. much, there's so much fuckery around this. So much. Yeah, and then the bread all of a sudden. Bitch, you ain't getting that since you laid down. Well, hell, I done laid down before too. But the point is, you the motherfucking hell, Rob, a motherfucking baby. That shit's so fucking sad. And like the lady said, 
with Jane Palmatine, like she just so heartfelt and got a heart for her people. And I think that basically on the free pencil, she sold this lady a dream and it's on video made her quit her motherfucking job and put in a place she could not afford and don't have a fucking working currently i think that's a breach of fucking contract she took advantage of the woman needing motherfucking help even though with james has exposure hell i knew about with james so i knew about fucking children okay so i think she just got the opportunity and she took advantage of the situation and that alone is like bullying and intimidation and Playing on her fucking circumstance. Right. It ain't rocket science. I ain't went to nobody's fucking college. It's just simple. Right, right. But I'm with the other parents. That bitch would have had to go tell the truth about that. Right, right. Let's yeah. get it, bitch. And talk to the NBA or whatever. <laughs> okay. That's a, it's a, not only that. I was thinking the mama needs to motherfucker do another LLC and let him work under another motherfucking business. Call, call that call that bitch call that bitch big booty Judy LLC just like that. that's what I do. <laughs> just like that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, okay, all right, sister. I do appreciate you calling. Thank you so much. Um, all right, my baby. Ooh, they said she said she would have dropped the. All right, this person with 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. China, welcome. Um, what you got going on, baby? Hey, you hear me shaking? I hear you. What's going on? Okay, so this one's not real quick. Um, it's about the Jane Fonda situation. Okay. Um, Jane Fonda was the one that was like, I don't know. I have a, a sweetheart. I ain't gonna lie. Since that shade room post. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm and, and right now I'm just doing this kind of like by myself. I'm actually the share room right. post. I had sixty four. I, I didn't know this. I had sixty four thousand subscribers. Some sixty four thousand followers yesterday. I have seventy three thousand today. That's damn near ten thousand. And I and I and, and right. when I tell you my DMs been blowing up lately. Oh my god. And so it's very very hard. I'm not trying to. I don't think I'm trying to ignore you. I just got, I'm just, right. you know, I, I just, as far as what Sip Nation is, we just get bigger and bigger. And 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 it's, it's it's very difficult sometimes. I do apologize. I'm not trying to know. If I didn't hit you back up, I'm just, it's just so much going through. Because I, because even though, even though, um, I'm, even though it's more people, I still got to do some of the same things as far as even coming here, entertaining, things like that. So I'm glad that you came and you called in so that I know. What you what was going on, but I'll go look for it and so I could try to answer. But it's very, it's very, it's 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 a little more, it's a little more than what I I didn't expect that. I didn't know that was gonna happen, and I didn't know that people the shade room wants something, they post something, people come and see what the hell you talk about. I never knew that like that. You know, I watch the shade room, I go see, but I never just see something that made me say, Let me go see, you know, and I looked at different stuff, but I never knew that it was like that. And so it's a it's, it's people resharing it and resharing it and resharing it and sharing it, sharing it, sharing it. Got a million views and this, that, and the other. And then all they're doing is coming over the hill. Oh, what's going on? See me shaking my bonnet. Oh, what is Punk going to and following and sending DMs? And oh, what happened here? People, act, you know, so it's a lot. I apologize. Right. I understand that. And I was really joking. Like, I wasn't even like saying, oh, you know, I'm mad or anything. Oh. But like with that, with that Judy shit, though, what's like, that? I remember you, you did the live the other day, right? With um, you hear me? I okay. You did the live the other day with Shakana, and then ever since then, I kind of been wanting to say something because everybody putting the blame on the parents, and at the same time, we got to hold accountability. And let me say, I wasn't an official collider kid. My daughter was just trying. My oh. daughter's trying for like three months or something like that. Oh. But um. To put the blame on the parents, my thing is they got to understand Lil James was a ripple effect for everybody. Like, she dangled that little boy like a piece of meat and then took advantage of everybody else. Had Judy never fucking played with James, it wouldn't have been no other kid. So you can't blame that shit on the parents. Because if this bitch wouldn't have played with nobody's kids, you know what I'm saying? This wouldn't have been a situation. Right. I, I don't, I only fault the parents for not doing more research into who she was. Because right. what I'm finding, and what I'm finding out is that she covered that up too. Because it's very hard to find out the stuff that she don't want. If it's not good stuff, it's hard to find the bad stuff on her. So I don't know if I even could blame them for that. 
I do think this though, right. like you're 100 right. She's she she definitely dangled Lil James in front of the rest of the fans, the faces, so they can get the product promoted for free. But at the end of the day, I really think that she, I, you know I think the majority of the blame is still upon Judy to say, "What well, you didn't do that to no little white kid? You wouldn't play with them like that." Mm-hmm. You had to mm-hmm. you talk. I, mean, I did blame myself off that shit, right? Off of what you said, because like when I was trying with my kids, like she was trying to play with it, like she'll like a couple things, just enough to keep us going. And I did blame myself for that because I didn't do the research. I ain't gonna lie. I seen her social media, oh, you big, oh, this boy got a contract and jumped on it. So you're right, it is right, right. it's blame on both sides. Right, right. We, we live and we learn, but hopefully, hopefully, no other parents right. fall for this foolishness and hopefully she could go back to marketing with the celebrities and adults, which is how she's supposed to market. This not using right. people kids for nothing. But that ain't even no child product. Right. So yep. I appreciate you for right. calling. Definitely. All right, my baby. I love you. All right. Tina, what's going on? What is BBC? I don't even know what BBC is. Oh, B- you might to me, BBC. What's going on? Tina. What's going on? Hey Tina, how you doing? What's going on, sweetheart? Hello? 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 Miss Tina? Hello? Tina? Oh, okay. I made it, huh? Oh, I don't so I don't it says, it says Tina, I'm calling. But I'm sorry, sorry, what's your name? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I was tripping. Okay, so I'm Gina. Gina. So I just wanted to come on and just congratulate you for everything that you do. I've been watching you. you for a while. You've Thank always kept it real 100. You. So I know what you're doing is something, you know, that's good um, when you're exposing, you know, just not Judy, just anybody. <laughs> but I was sitting here thinking because I've been following Judy and them for a couple of years now, and um, have you been able to find out whatever happened with her when she was dating that guy, Derek Cox, when he had showed up to her birthday party? And he had, she went on this big thing and doing just like trying to get shirts today, but it's been like a day or two, maybe a month, he had dumped her so fast. And I was wondering, have you any like heard anything about that? I have not. It's not been it's not you been know what I'm talking about? Um, I think I briefly saw that in my research, but it was something I was not interested in. So I was like, okay, next. Um, but I didn't I don't know too much about the situation. Um, is there something so you want to know what happened to the guy? Is what you're asking me? Yeah, I'm just wondering, like I think when she had filmed him and he was telling her to stop filming because just everything she does is for clout. It just seems like it's just like, I mean, I just feel sad that people really didn't realize. I stopped following her when that girl burnt the wig on Instagram. It just showed me like it was a lot more drama. Like there's so much drama. Like, I don't know. I just like, if you're a business person, just keep it business. But film basis, right? It's a whole nother side to them. It just seems like there's some evilness, some demonic spirits going on. Um, I don't know. It's just really, really weird um, how they move. I just don't like the way they move. It just seems always like it. People say marketing is genius, but it's being exposed. Like, I can see everything they're doing. Like, when she put out that video, I know fiber. I just know fake stuff. If you could just tell the video when she said it was made in the U.S., you can tell it was fake. So yeah. when you know and you have a business, you just know like how people do different stuff to put it all together and make it one. Like everything she's doing, I think that she thinks she's getting over but she's not getting on her. Like everything you're doing is just being shown. Like if, if people just pay close attention, like the parents, if they just had paid really close attention to her move, just even from the wig situation or just like how she just moves. It's just like, it doesn't seem authentic. It doesn't seem um, truthful. It just seems like, all oh, just like get a dime. And we all want to get our money, but I don't know. It's just really weird. The video was so fake. I sent it to my supplier. He said they never put on, if it's something like that, they have different channels for every different product. But you also never saw nothing else made there but the miracle drops, right? But okay, so they don't make none of the other drops there or nothing like that. But he told me that 
you have a different thing for everything. He said, the fit is 100% fake. He said, first of all, a machine not only puts the product in, but it also tops off the product. So for somebody sitting there screwing the caps in one by one, that never happens. He said, that's not, that's not what happens. He said, that, that's just, that's just, he said, that's for sure. They said that's in, in modern technology, what they do is you have the machine that does pretty much everything. The only thing that humans actually do or supervise the machines in a sense. He said, that's the only thing humans do on the factory level. He said, from, because he said, especially when you're dealing with something that's cosmetic or clinical of nature, because right. you don't want people touching it or contaminating something like that. So, for example, he says, if it's especially something. Especially with that value that, especially with the value that she does, nobody's going to be doing nothing but from their hands. Like, come on now. Right. You know, you selling all these millions and millions of products. Ain't nobody touching nothing by hand. It, if so, it would take like forever to get your product to be even produced. So, if you should be, I mean, somebody should have been you know, able to see that. But another thing I just feel really sad about, and I'm not going to hold you all long because I want you to get to your other cause, but um, I watched that video when she told, um, it was a, well, first thing, last night, I remember you asked the father um, on the phone, somebody had asked a question. They said, would you be willing to file a, um, I don't know if you paid attention to that, but I did. Somebody said, would you be guys be able to willing to do a class action lawsuit? And that dad said no. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, like, have you had any attorneys reach out to you to even try to, uh, you know, represent these mothers and fathers? But I was wondering, like, why would he say no? Like, what is it that they would not want to seek an attorney to get legal consultation? Um... I think they just don't want to deal with this devil no more. The, 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 the mothers and fathers of those kaleidoscope kids formed a bond. Their children formed a bond and look at each other like brother and sister. That's the issue that they're having. So the parents are telling their story not for themselves. They don't want nothing. They're like, to hell with her or whatever. They're telling their stories to bring attention to Judy to get James out of the contract, who a lot of their children look at as, the, as their brother. The children have bonded. Okay, so it's not really, they don't really want to do the legal thing. They don't want to. She needs to pay. She needs to pay. So the only way to make her pay is also not using her product. Because if she did it with I agree with you wholeheartedly. The parents, and 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 so I've talked to them all. They they just they what they want to do is help the Lil James get out of it. And so that's what it is. I have okay. a, so have attorneys reached out. The attorney that there was a couple of attorneys actually reached out. I forwarded the information because I I can't say oh hi him. I can't do that. I forward the information, and, you know, because I'm very versed in what I can and cannot do really, and I gotta respect them. But none, the parents have never asked me for nothing. They never asked me to. I've asked them, would y'all like to go and tell y'all story? I think y'all should tell y'all story. I've told them. They never asked me. I have, I have asked the siblings to follow the parents because I think all of the children are adorable. And I hate that they were disappointed by this woman. And I wish all the children get the success and stardom that they, that, they, that they rightfully deserve. That's the only thing I've asked for. But the parents have never asked for nothing. The parents want Lil James free more than shit. <laughs> Anybody, right? So, so I don't think the parents have ever. The parents don't want the lawsuit. They don't want the money from this woman. I think okay. they des I think they deserve an apology. Some of them more bop, more bop. I, I think her pride is too. I think her pride. She thinks she's too bomb to apologize. I would love to see it, but just the way she presents herself. I don't, I don't see that. You know what I mean? I don't see her apologizing. I see her just continue on thinking that this is going to go away like all the other celebrities do and don't address it and letting it die out. So, um, you know, I just hope that we continue on and we continue to support little Jay. She knew she was cold. Oh, what hurt me so bad when she told that lady she did quit her job. It just a year, months later that she had to restructure her whole life and how do you get on Instagram to tell somebody to quit their job? Like, come on. Like, how? I mean, just evil, just wicked. But 
but I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get my cup. I'm gonna get everything that you got going on. I'll give you some bitch hazel. Thank you. Um, and okay. you guys, and you have a good night. Right. Thank you so much, my baby. Bye. I'm shaky. All right, baby. So just looking at the video, I want to look at the video and I want to show y'all why, why, why this is just foolishness. All right. So first of all, my supplier says that the first thing that he noticed about the video is not this part, but there's a part when these actually are not even meant for that conveyor belt. He knows what type of bottles he called a PVC something. I don't even know what it means. But he says another thing you notice, he said, it doesn't even appear that there's, they're, like, they're actually going in. And he said, that's usually not the process. And he said, this is never happens. This never happens because nobody does this by hand. It happens. They just do it by like by uh, automation. And I think this is what he said. He said, this would never happen because it, it, like when you're doing bottles like that, it's supposed to fit during the actual conveyor belt that it's for. Like those that he said, it's not right. Like right there doesn't fit. Um, he also said that um, what he found amazing is that they put the label on before they put the product in and put in this type of sealant on. He said, with all products, generally speaking, the label is one of the last things that go up, goes on. It depends, you know, <laughs> he said, generally speaking, he said he thinks this is fake or not real. So let me, so I want to show you there's something. Now pay attention to TD. And he said, this is another thing. Like, it's all, all the, the systems now are all automated. TD going to skip. I don't know if y'all can see my, my mouse. Yeah, y'all could. But watch how TD is going to skip a bottle. She skipped that bottle. That bottle there, it don't need none. It don't need no bottle. This one here, she all getting all cut up. Right there, it don't need no top. Fuck that top. It don't need no top. So it's like, what the fuck? Like, they're missing bottles? <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. And I was like, I just can't believe she's doing this. Did I close my... Okay, I'm finna say. All right. <laughs> Two drops, no tops. <laughs> That's like these bottles go down the stage. It's just, I'm like, fuck that one. I'm just standing like, she's skipping, she's skipping bottles. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi, how you doing? Thanks for waiting. Sorry for the wait. This is uh, your life was shaking. Two, Two drops, no tops. How you doing, sweetheart? Hey, baby, how you doing? I think some of the college school parents have and have told her to contact me. Um, and I think she's in touch with one of them. But as of yet, I have not reached out to that mother, no. Oh, okay. And then another question I um, have is that I He has a song out. Nice things is the name of the song. Really? Mm -hmm. He have a whole yeah. But, but I knew she was a devil. Whenever she gave that lady a concert on live, but sometimes when people do stuff like that, and they do it on live. They don't think they win it all. He told that lady to quit her job. She knew that lady did not know the legalities behind things. She knew that lady was different, and she played on that lady still. That's his video. That's the mama. That's the middle video. And some of the class kids I'm playing out. I, I think she's going to get out the contract soon. Trust me, I really believe that. And I, I think it's going to be a surprising way that she gets a contract. I just, I, I don't know yet, but I just know one thing. She's going to get out. But that's the video. He has a song called Nice Names. Nice talking to you too, baby. But yeah, that's 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 definitely. I, I thank you for calling. But that's he do have a video. Oh shit! I'm throwing people in my bag. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I would get better, y'all. I would get better. <laughs> He should be getting the bank off of this, though. He got 500,000 views on this song. It came out on my birthday, a day after my birthday. It's really a promo video for Kaleidoscope, too. They got more Kaleidoscope stuff in this video than anything. It's promo Kaleidoscope. Girl, I know you not. How you doing, Miss um, Crystal? How you doing? Hey baby, how you doing? We was watching we was watching little Victor, watching little James Bitter. What's going on, sister? How, how you doing? What can I um, do? Fine, thank you. Um, firstly, let me say congratulations. I'm so happy for you um, with all the sales, with the launch of the sick cosmetics. That was awesome. Um, I was one of the people that you kind of let view the site. Like, for the first time just to see the functionality and how everything was looking. So I'm just like ecstatic for you. Congratulations on me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're welcome, love. And of course, I will be uh, buying some products as soon as I get paid to contribute. Thank you so much. But, I appreciate um, Oh, of course. Of course. Um, but what I mainly wanted to ask is, I know, you know, we've all just across the board agreed that we would not be donating to any funds um, to buy James out of that country, mainly because we're just not going to kill Judy another fucking dime with her trike on in. Mm -hmm. But, you know, have you can have, think it would be plausible that if she doesn't, you know, with the efforts that you're putting in now and try to get him free, if she still doesn't put it on it, you think it would be plausible if we maybe try to get a fund together to get them an attorney to try to get them out of it? Yes. That was an option that was discussed. If, uh, so should she not budge very mm -hmm. soon, what we're going to do is use, and they're just going to get tired of me talking about it. I'm sorry. If I have to lose every single person that pressed that follow button or subscribe button for me, I will have to do it for these kids, and I don't mind doing it. But what we will do, um, I will lead the at least the marketing effort on a fun for an attorney. Um, but we have talked to some attorneys that may want to do it for either free or cheap. If okay. and, and if that's the case, and if that's the case, we'll go with that. Uh if of course free is the best option for us financially, because this situation that Judy put this young man in have destroyed their finance to destroy them. It made them dependent on her. And she yeah. wants more collada kids, more collada videos, more collada promo. That's what she wants. And if she's not getting what she wants, then those people are basically in a situation where they're financially struggling. Because not only that, they lose the ability to do work. They can't promo. They can't go find another brand. They can't do that. So it's either kaleidoscope or nothing for them. And so what she's doing is starving Lil James. She's really starving him. You don't work for me. You don't work for nobody. You know, and you know, if you can't work, you can't eat. That's disgusting. And so we, I warned him about this contract, but I want my the contract bad so bad because it's hurtful to me that you got these people thinking that you put these people in a situation they live in their best life. That's not true. And the mama is not obtuse to, she's not against working. When Judith moved them in the Shea old house and all that stuff like that, Judith told her, just mama said, well, let me go give me a job on Canal Street because ends not meeting on the, little, the $1,500 a month you give me to support me, my, me and my three kids. And, and, and Judith told her, no, that's not a good look. Come work at the warehouse. I'll just, you know, give you a little extra stuff. So this is, you she, she made she made these people uh, dependent on her. And so what happens is, oh, no, you don't, oh, you don't want to do it? Oh, maybe it's not God's time. I've, I've tried to upgrade you mentally. You saw that text? Did y'all see that? That's an actual test between her. Yeah, I saw that text message. Like, the level of audacity. You know, like, you... There is absolutely no accountability. It came off so nice, nasty, and sarcastic. Oh, well, I'm just guilty of believing in you and him. And she put him in all caps. Like, 
you're talking about a child here. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, the fact is, Julie, nobody, you know, she, you, the fact is, you don't even see how underhanded and evil you're being. You know, it's just astounding to me. And you dare to call yourself a woman of God. Like, all of that you use to reel this woman in. You use the Lord. You use <clears throat> your cunning. You know, and like the lady said before, they spoke on the phone to say that you did all of that on live. You know, it just shows, it just reeks of you being disingenuous. Like with the video that she did, the fake video with the bottle in it, you know, whenever when you outed our ass about kitchen products from China. Like the main thing that stuck out to me, aside from the fact that there was a big ass box there that said Silver Spur Corporation. Mm is basically screaming that this is not your warehouse. But the thing that stuck out the most to me was if Judy actually had a warehouse where she was manufacturing these products, we would have seen that ages ago. She, the same Judy who can't even do a good deal without putting it on social media, there's no way that we'd have not been on her page or a lot of folks page before me. That girl go live there every day to so look how many people I got working for me and all that. Come on now. Who she thinks she is? Hey, you know, it, it's just it's just astounding to me those links that she will go to to keep up this lie. And so that's what kind of makes me feel like she won't budge off a little James's contract because as the lady before was saying, it's her pride and she's just not going to admit that she she manipulated this, this woman into signing a bullshit contract. Oh, she did. Yep, I agree with you totally, wholeheartedly, percent, wholeheartedly, percent. I think she's the devil. I think she needs to be stopped. And I think I don't think no. And I think the only way to cripple this woman is to stop her cash flow. Stop buying the shit until she feels yeah. Jane. Um, but we one Absolutely. of the things. So one of the things as an option was that we did talk to an uh, attorney reached out to us actually. Um, they are in Louisiana and they were interested in doing it for. I don't know if it was free or cheap, but I did forward the information to the people that needed that makes those decisions, and I will support whatever they decide to do. If they decide to do a GoFundMe, I will be the first person posting it on my page, and I will keep posting it until they get tired of. They be like, ah, right, this bitch posted too much. Yeah, that's what that address is gonna be. So I'm gonna tell y'all go do it. I'm gonna ask for y'all dollars. I'm gonna ask for. Them. I'm gonna say, listen, he know. He, let's just say, faces. He need five thousand dollars, baby. Everybody put one. We have all you new people come from the shade room. We need a dollar for the James, and that's what we need. Per blank period. I'm with you, Shady. Right. I'm with you. 100%. You know, I commend your efforts for what you're trying to do for these it. children. Like, don't, don't. You know, it's because as, as people said before, none of the other blogs will take this up. It's good. It's a thing. And yeah, this is by coincidence that Judy's day of reckoning has come, baby. And I'm willing to support whatever efforts you take to get this child out of it because it's disgusting. Yes, and she just needs to be stopped. It's time for all of this to come out. Right. But thank you so much for speaking to me. I want to hold you up. I know okay. there are other people working in fact. Right. I love you too. I love y'all too. Love you too. Love you too. All right. Thank you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Andrea, what's going on? Andrea? Hey, Shaky. How you doing? Hey, baby. How you doing? I've been following you for a minute, but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna cry. I I was blinded by all the, you know, I was supporting her because I was like, oh, you know, she's a black woman trying to do the last, you know. I was I was literally giving my coins until one day I came across your page, and it was a while back when she got your page shut down one day, okay. and she thought she could keep you from being quiet. Right. And you got your page back up for everything, and then you went in. <laughs> That sounds like that sounds a little but bit. You know what? I'm gonna be a message too. Okay. <laughs> what you wanna do? <laughs> <laughs> but um, but not nah, um. I did notice, like after after seeing like all the white kids come out, I noticed some of them um, like Carter. She was really pretty, and now I think her mother just like does a whole other brand. Uh huh. Not even best with Kawhi soap anymore. I've noticed that. Okay. Just, I don't know. I can't believe somebody would do that to a kid. Right. right. At all. Right. 
I do. I don't. But it's true, and these people exist, and I think we need to expose every last one of them or expose this one and let the world see so that the next one could say, you know what? I'm not going to mess with the kids. Let me go find some adults to bamboos. <laughs> yeah, my sister, we was at like a hair store, and we saw the salon and stuff, and she was like, they was on sale for like ten dollars right now, and I said, "Mom, I'm not getting that." And it was like, "Why are you trying not to support a black?" I said, "I was just she, she don't need my support." Okay. She does not need my support. Right. I do agree. I appreciate you for calling. I do. Thank you so much for stopping by. And, 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 and I agree with you all. Oh, thank you so much for, for stopping by, Miss Andrea. All right. Bye, Bye-bye. Nice talking to you. Oh, shit. I'm about to... Hmm. Hello? Miss Hello? Miss Donna? Miss Donna? Hello? I can barely hear you. What you got, man? What you, hello? Can you hear me, Uh-uh, you so low. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. What's going on? Can you? Huh? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, I can. Okay. What's your name, babe? How you doing? First of all, I want to just give you all the praise and the glory for doing what you're doing and trying to help these kids. Okay. Thank you. You are. Thank you. I'm not doing it for me. Let me say something. You know what? This ain't about me. I only know thanks. This is what you do. Two things I want you to do. Thank, thank your creator, my creator. Thank the creator, number one. Um, for allowing me to get people attention whenever or however I got it and, 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 and me to say the right thing. Um, we built our platform and our first rule was negative, never to talk negatively about people, kid. That was our first rule. And that's a rule we stuck to. It's a rule I've done to my enemies, to people that was going against me, even when they would talk about my kids. I was, I, we never talked about people, kid. And I think that the creator instilled that upon me so when something like this come about it touched directly to my heart i was you know i'm not and i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i'm a church i'm not the church going i'm not the nice guy i'm not the let's kumbaya and sing the gospel so i'm not that person i will cuss you out in a minute but what god did he created me with that heart to love and cherish everybody's kid and because he did that so this is the creator doing this. This is not me. He created me. He put me. So what happens is, of course, the kids can't come on here and cuss this whole out. Of course, the parents representing the kids can't come cuss the whole, this whole out. But God made me love your kids and love her kids and love these kids so much that I look at them as my own so I can get on here and cuss this whole out because she needs to be cussed out. The Lord don't just make pacifists. The Lord also make warriors. You understand that? The Israelites, look at them. They had armies as well. Some people was meant to go to war. I was the person <laughs> meant to go to war. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, some, some people this was meant for. And so in the case of me, don't thank me. I do nothing. Think, if you think I'm doing something, and if I'm bringing attention, cussing people out, that's not from me. That's from the man upstairs. And I'm not a religious. I'm not preaching. I'm not going to preach to you because that's not my thing to do. I'm not going to preach or tell you nothing about what you should do and the message that you I just know what happened. I'm, <laughs> I'm a vain, petty, shady mugger. So I'm an SOB. That's who I am. I just like kids. And to see somebody doing something with kids, they need somebody like me to put that winch in our place. That's all that is. The, so the law know what he was doing when he made everybody. They know what he's doing when he made me. I don't know if this is my purpose. I don't know what it is. But and, I, and I'm not. So I'm not finna say because I'm I'm a sinner as much as anybody else. And it could be. I'm not righteous. I'm not the champion and all that. And I'm definitely not nobody hero. Don't ever do that to me. I'm gonna make a million mistakes. 
I'm gonna call everybody. I'm gonna cuss out everybody I know tomorrow. It's on. If I see you, I don't like him. I tell you what I think. So don't thank me for doing something for the kids. Thank God for putting that in my heart to love kids. So that when somebody do do something to them, I I, I hurt for them. And so what make me want to do is attack that motherfucker. And so unfortunately, the way we have to attack nowadays is through these channels and social media. So to 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 so thank the law first. That's the first thing I want you to do. And the second thing I want you to do, my baby, is make sure you hold accountable the other people that's supposed to be talking about this that we idolize. The the people, the Steve Harvey's, Oprah's, and stuff like that. The what all these people is, the people that we idolize and get all our information to. Why are y'all not talking about this? Why is this not a thing? These are this is a big thing. If they not getting paid, oh yeah, some people sending me money. I gotta tell you about. That's what I do. I tell you about. Sister. I'm not no. I'm not the hero, and, and I appreciate you thanking me. But I'm just doing what I what God made me to do, and that's be shady. I've been looking for a reason to be extra petty, extra shady, and extra messy. I ain't doing nothing special. I'm doing what I like to do. God made me like that. I'm just doing so. I thank you, thank you for allowing me to cuss this bitch out. I want to cuss out some more. <laughs> The Teddy Tubby Bill bitch, I want to, I want to, I really, and, and because of the parents and the kids, I've been holding back what I really want to say about this bitch. But, you know, so I, I'm not doing nothing special. Don't, so don't, 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 don't give me no pat on the back. Give it to God because he made me. And second, make sure we hold accountable the people that's supposed to be accountable for this. You know, that's what I want with us to do. If that's, if you want to thank me, thank God. This is what you do. Thank God. And and when you when you DM next time you DM your Ellens and your Steve Harvest, say why y'all not talking about that? They got a whole situation going on right now. That's it. I appreciate you for calling. I love you, my baby. I don't know if she can hear me. I don't know if the thing messed up. Oh, uh, I'm doing what I do. <laughs> I don't know. I was ahead. I was hit out real, real low. If I if I if I hung up with you, sister, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to do that. I, I'm, I'm dealing with the system. Hello. Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Hello. Auto screen fail. Hello. You on live with Shaky? Caller eight three two. Shaky. Yeah, you hear me? Hey, what's going on, my baby? I'm all right, my baby. How you doing? I'm doing well. I just called to weigh in on what's going on because I. to go by Lil nothing. He needs to go by Lil, he who he is is Lil James. He needs to go by Lil James and he needs to be free to be a, listen, God made Lil James to bring joy to people. God gave Lil James the talent. The talent. This is a talent. Entertaining is not easy. You're talking to an entertainer. He do it naturally. God made that, little, that young man, Lil, he made him Lil James and he gave him not only a gift to his parents, but a gift to me, you, and the rest of the world to bring smile and joy to your face. You can't look at him and not smile. You can't do it. 
So that's what God intended him to be and what he called him to do. The next thing God intended for him to do and his family, God intended his mother to go through this so that somebody else child don't. Now, I, I wish she didn't, but then God, everything is for a design. That demon gonna be that demon gonna get her deserved. He not finna change his name. He not finna do. He about to be Lil James. How God intended him to be. That's what's about to happen. That's not. We not finna do. We not. We not. We not finna even put it in our mind what we could change it up. No, she gonna get above that. That's wrong. And you're right. And it's so crazy because where the bitch post say not. I don't even. I don't, uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Uh, she would post the pictures of herself, all kind of stuff. I think she tried to watch it. But it ain't nothing of how she would normally be. You know, it's not like she know that that shit is coming to an end. And, you know, it's sad. Like, I'm, I never spoke on when the child drowned. I know people that are close to that situation as well. But that shit, that girl mama didn't feel like you in the fucking crab house the next day, bitch, cracking crabs and cracking jokes and... Somebody is hurting, you know, it's just, it just was no remorse for nothing, you know, and, and everything ain't God against you. bitch, your money, you ain't gotta be, that ain't gotta be God blessing, you know, but you could be out here playing in people's face like it is around less for love and all these other, you know what I'm saying, influential people, but bitch, you ain't fooling the real. Right. That real, that hurt. That bitch say, I love you. I love you too. I'll purchase in my merch. Keep doing what you do. Thank you so um, much. I mean, and they can't stop that. They right. can't stop that. It's evident. Right. And I and I appreciate you for calling. And I and I and 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 thank you so much. I appreciate you, my people. She's she gonna be stopped. We're gonna take one more call, or we're gonna take two more calls. <laughs> Hello. Did I press it? I don't even know. So this is the new thing. Is it working? I thought it was working. It was a five, it was a five or four number. Oh, there you go. How you doing, Shay? What's going on? What's up, Shay? E, what's, what's up, Sippers? What's up? What's, what's up, y'all? Oh my God, I cannot believe I got through. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I just want to commend you on what you're doing because you actually using your platform to help this little boy get from up under this situation. So I followed Judy and Super some years ago, back, you know, like 2014, years ago, and watched them, you know, rise in the industries, and I bought into it. You know what I'm saying? I went to Judy's uh, tour. I've purchased Super's. Cause you know, I purchased her, purchased her makeup and supported everything that these women, you know, were doing. Mm -hmm. Now I know that you know you don't fuck with Super, and that's all good. But I don't got no issues with Super. But see that Judy, that lady, she gonna get what's coming to her. Cause when Shekana called her out about that situation a few years ago, Shekana laid it all out, and that girl was right. If you go back and watch the video, Super couldn't even defend her friend. All she could do was just sit there and look. Because she knew her friend was wrong. I do believe that Judy was probably talking about that girl and calling her everything in the book but a child of God. And she then ran out there to Atlanta. But why do you feel like you have to get to the top like this? You know, Lil James had a platform before he did the his before his mama signed the contract with Judy. He already had a platform. We already knew who Lil James was. He was funny, a little kid just being himself. So why, like you said, when you mentioned she's starving him out, that's exactly what it is. And that is down bad. And that is horrible to really see this lady do this, like you say, in front of our face. These other bloggers or whatever, not picking it up for whatever reason, but... This is real. This lady is really doing this to this little boy. And free little James, you know, I just hope that I hope that he win in, in this situation when it's all said and done. But that is just so sad. And it just breaks my heart because this is a child. Mm -hmm. This is a child we're talking about. Mm -hmm. A child. Mm -hmm. 
that you came, she came into his life and interrupted his life. You know what I'm saying? Right. You could have left that little boy alone if he wasn't going to do right by him. Right. See, she wanted to use him to get more people. See, because what she, because what she did to the other parents. See, this was about. This is what this was about. At the end of the day, let me tell you something. She had fifty kaleidoscopes kids. Guess what she could have did? She could have hired, and and we talked about this on the conference call today. She could have hired an agent who would have managed them. She wouldn't have to do nothing but put the weight of her company behind them. She could have hired an agent right. who would have money. You guys, yeah, so who rich. who would have got their pictures done. Everything, all this stuff, like this is so simple to do. It's, it's the equivalent of maybe spending an hour of your time to go sit down and say, listen, I want you to manage the kind of school's kids, whatever, whatever. Get their pictures done, send it, submit their portfolios to, and all of them pretty much had pictures already, but submit their portfolios to different companies. See if you can get them deals and contracts. It's not that hard. Usually an agent, not even that expensive, and usually agents get commissions off of contracts that they get for children. Meaning this. Say for instance, she would have said, well, listen, I have 50 kids. I need to set this up. And he would say, well, listen, it charge you, let's say, $10,000. I don't know. I'm just making, pulling numbers out of the sky. I don't know how much it costs. It might be 10000 up front. And guess what? You He gets a commission off of everything that he brings in for business. Guess what? She didn't have to do a nothing. So what this to me showed is that she never intended to do a bitch ass thing. The whole little James thing was stage fiasco for her, so that she can have something to say to other kids. Look what I did for little James. If you promote my product, I could do this for you. That's what she did. And then all the the and so people bought into it because of course little James like he she she just like she was using. The kids to sell her products, she was using Lil James to sell her kids. All right. So this this that's the number one thing. The second part about that, let me speak on. I want to speak on Shakanta. Y'all brought her up like maybe two or three times. And I, I have to speak on on this what it is. Uh, it, it, and I hate name dropping. I, I, I do I don't want y'all to think that I like the name drop. I don't. I don't want to, uh, you know. Doing my business, I've met some people with a lot of what they say, clout is the word I guess they're looking for. Um, and so they, they always like to accuse me of clout chasing. I don't call it clout chasing. I think clout chasing is bag chasing. In my opinion, the bigger the number, the bigger the check. So why would I want bigger numbers? Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. I went, to, was they just posted that shit on the shade room in a sense for my business because guess what? That means my promo rates just went up. They had 10,000 people come. It, it went up. It is what right, it is. We all trying to get money. Right? We all, yeah, so at the end of the day, yes, I do have a business. I have to support myself. I just quit my job. So I turned out their promo today. It's $50. Now. It used to be $35. It's $50. I just got 10,000 people. I was just on the share. I'm sorry. If you don't like it, don't pay. So this is what I'm saying. So excuse me. This is what it is. So so ahead of time, I want you to say the next things I'm going to say, because this, I, I, I can say this. God bless me with Chicago. And I could tell y'all this, y'all might think, I, I could really show y'all on this phone. I talk to this woman every day. Every day. We never talk about mess. We never talk about nothing. This woman has prayed for me and prayed with me. This woman has given me insight that I should have paid her for about this business, about vlogging, about reality TV, about television and entertainment from a leveled up perspective. And I should have paid, I should have, I owe her money for that. And so I say that to say this. If I'm the type of person that's going to talk to you every day, regardless of anything, and you are the type of person that's going to talk to my black ass every day, that means one thing. You are real. You are real. And she's one of the realest people I have ever had the opportunity of meeting. And I'm an yeah. excellent judge of a person's character if I'm in their company for a while. And I've been in our company and I have excellent judges and she really is who she is. What you see is not pretend. Yeah, ever since that incident, that incident opened my eyes to the world because it really was innocent, you know? It was right. really innocent. Always go live, you know. That's what she did. She right. was always on live. It was a legit, innocent, and she drew the cook that she flipped it, turned it upside down, did all of it, did all of it, made all this noise because 
you want to be viral. You want to, you know, if your product's selling, then let it sell. You know, you get all your money, but I don't know. I don't know. Right, right. So, so let, let me finish this. I, I, I was, I had a part, girl. You ain't let me, you, you ain't let me, girl, girl. Let me, let me make my part. I got a part. So the part I'm trying to say, Miss Shay, is this: that, and I lost my part. See this girl? I had a part about Shakana and why I feel like she feel how she feel about this situation. Shakana felt that spirit from you. That's my opinion. I think she okay. just felt that spirit. I. Did not see the video that is referencing because me and her never talk about that. So I don't know what I I've heard about it, but right, me it's old. It's old. It's old. I, so right. I never even I, I need to go maybe go look at that. I don't know, but I never but I know this that she discerns stuff. So it, and I'm not and I'm not trying to cloud chase her name drop or say whatever, whatever, but I, I just can say this that I don't know how to how it was received. But I think if she warned whoever ahead of time, they should have took a warning because she's not faking it. She's really who she is. Shekinah, at least. I know that. She's not like them pretending to be something that she's not. Judah right. pretends to be something she's not. And so that's why I and her will never have an issue because I would never pretend to be something I'm not. What you see is what you get. Is what you need, right? I can't be nothing. And that's how it's supposed to be. My fat funky living with my mom in the trailer. You got your own, you got your own camera crew following your every move. Like you can make it do what you want. We gotta open our eyes, you know. We gotta open our eyes. Don't 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 buy to the hype. Right. Don't don't buy to the hype because what glitter everything that glitter ain't gold. Right. So I've been done with her since right. that situation happened. And now that this happened, it just reassures, you know, because she got these little girls, one, you know, trying to look up to her. And, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't want to look up to nobody like that. Right, you know? right, right. The first, you know, I'm going to look up to somebody with some morals. You got to, you know, you, you, you may go at the, for, the forefront of your whole operation, which is the way it's supposed to be, but right. you really preyed on people, you know, preyed right. on her. Right. All right. Ooh, I'm over here. Everything is good. I appreciate you for calling. Thank and you I so think much. I was listening to the other lady. I'm sorry. I'm about to, go ahead. I know you're about to hang up on me. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. But, but like that lady said, um, the lady, I was listening to the thing on the phone. The lady was like, something along the lines of just because you have a lot don't mean that that's from God. Now, let me tell you something. I have a great grandmother who will be 96 years old on April 15th, 2020, who is still alive. And that woman has said that to me. So I believe that wholeheartedly. You see, the devil be blessing his children too to, to trick everybody else. Right. Just because somebody is living large or whatever, that don't mean that those are blessings from God. But I'm a Leave that at that. Right. But I just, you just keep on doing what you're doing. I'm going to continue to watch your lives on YouTube because I'll be missing them. I'll be at work. But I'm going to watch it on YouTube. I'm going to like y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, Step Nation. <laughs> Shaky, I can't wait to see you can make it to the top. Right, you are on your way. Thank you on so your way. Thank you so much. Your, 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 your lips. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. All right, love you. Let me take one more call, and not, we can't do this for all night. What's going on, Miss Jamie? Mister Jamie? Hey, Shaky. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness! First off, Frida Jane. Frida Jane. Okay. Let me tell you, I be at work while I see your lives. I be pausing my phone. I don't answer the phone for customers watching your lives. You pull up on a live any time of the day. Oh. Okay? And I be right. I be ready for you. Girl, you better answer the customers. Cool. Girl. <laughs> Oh, y'all be saying about that with the coronavirus. Anyway, so I wanted to say, oh, oh, you said Judy before, because when you was fussing about soup for a couple of months back, and you were supposed to run it about uh, Judy, you didn't do it. Right. And I was like, damn, I was looking for the, I was looking for the YouTube, and I was like, damn, ain't nobody saying nothing. I went on this big alley, because I don't like Judy. Something about her eyes don't look right. Right. So. I, I, I don't know nothing about her, but I just, something about her just don't look right. Right. So, I'm, I'm looking, I'm all over the place. I couldn't find nothing. I did see the Shekinah thing. 
Right. And then and then she fucked up. She fucked up with Lil James. Okay. Now you you was holding some stuff on. Her. Right. Now she didn't she didn't fuck up. Right. Because you scared her a couple months ago. I'm spared or not, really. I'm spared or not. Shit, everybody jumped on. The, this is how you know people don't like. As soon as one person jumped on, as soon as you got on her ass, everybody was just feeling feel. Right. <laughs> they told it, okay. The service people call. The service people call. <laughs> she dirty. She dirty. I know I ain't like them eyes. I'm about them little wicked evil eyes. And you be you be preaching because just like your girl said just now, the devil give you things to give you what you lust for. So it'll give you the things you need. He give you all that bullshit so you can drag other people down. You didn't slow down no good. Right. That, I don't like let me tell you something. I feel like y- yesterday I was yesterday, day before yesterday. Oh no, it was yesterday. I'm serious. Sorry. Uh, I went to a seminar uh, for Dion. This is Judy's ex girlfriend, the one that wrote the book, uh, Never Let Go Who You Are, talking about how Judy used to ride and bounce up and down on the deal, though. It was a f- scissor and all this mm-hmm. shit like that. Well, um, so they say, well, Shay Gay, we need somebody to open. You want to open in prayer. I say, well, listen, baby, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I open up in prayer if y'all want me to, but I'm a cuss. I suggest y'all get somebody else. I told them that just like that. You can ask them. And they said, why would you curse in prayer? And I said, y'all going to think I'm crazy, but this is really what happens to me. I tried to kill myself. I showed them my skull. I showed them my skull where I cut my own wrist. I slid it, trying to kill myself. I tried to hit the vein and kill myself. I was four years in prison, six left looking at the sands. So I was in the middle, cut myself, and tried to end my life because I couldn't take the prison stuff no more. And I remember as I was in the MOU, which is the medical observation unit, because I was not successful in killing myself, but I remember my creator talking to me. And my creator told me, bitch, is you stupid? I got something for you. Don't do no stupid shit like this no more. Just like that. And I'm not talking about I heard in my voice. I'm talking about I heard in a powerful feeling. And he said, he got, I got something for you. He's, and, and so I, my, 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 my creator told me this. And people think, oh, you was lost blood. I had lost some blood and stuff. And, and you was delusional and all that stuff like that. God don't talk like that. And I can't tell nobody because I'm convinced and nobody could tell me nothing different. But I know my creator want me to be me. And so when I came out of prison, I came out and I just did me. I didn't worry about what people think about what I dressed like, looked like, act like, what I had on, what I was driving, where I was living. I just came out and been me. So the success that I have is not mine. And I'm not preaching because I have my intimate relationship with my creator. And if I start, I feel like I feel like he want me to, because he cussed me out. He cussed me out. He said, get your stupid ass. I got some shit for you. Just like that, cuss me out. My creator cussed me out. And so, and I say that to say this, this here. I, I'm just telling y'all what's happened. I, I'm not, as far as this, I don't know if this is the purpose. I don't know if it's this what he had for me. I don't know. But it's just, I had to come out and just do what I had to do. And do what I feel was right or wrong at whatever time it was. When it, was when it felt right for me to cuss super ass out and tell our business, I cussed out and told our business. When it comes time for me to t- tell Judy business, whoever business, I did, the, I did whatever I felt was whatever it is. If if she free the James or if the James bust out the bus out of jail, whatever how it happened and it happened, that's what needs to happen. I don't know what it is. So when people say this and that, or, or just that, I don't know. I'm not trying to do all that. God told me. I, God told me I got something for you. He ain't telling me what it was. He just said, "Bitch, I got something for you." Just like that. You don't do no stupid shit like that. Trying to kill yourself, and so that's what that's what he told. Me. Now, and 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 that's my little testimony about that. I do believe I'm not no holy religious. I'm not gonna go to church house and do tell you nothing because if I'm in a church house, I'm a cuss too. Because I'm telling y'all, God cuss too. And so at the same time, I don't know. And I'm not trying to tell y'all don't do, do, have a different look on your creator. And I want to be mindful of that. But this is the part I want to make about all that you're saying. Judy have a testimony too. 
she go in churches and say stuff too. Sometimes you get paid to do it. But the devil know the Bible and all that stuff better than you. Better than any preacher. He know the he know point A to Z. He know from end to the beginning to revelations. He know it all. So just so so the my thing is y'all people, everybody. We us we know the truth, even before. Because one thing we heard about, just like you say, the eyes. I didn't even trust the eyes, or I just had a bad feeling. Somebody said, somebody said, oh, what well, about support black business? Oh no, something ain't right. So you know what's up. There's a reason. It's twelve o'clock in the morning in Central Time, and there's five hundred people in there. Y'all know the truth. Y'all know the truth. You're not here because I'm cute to look at. You ain't come. Y'all ain't here because I'm fine. Y'all ain't here because I'm talking something that y'all... I'm not spilling no tea right now. We just running it. Y'all here because it's the truth. And that bitch need to free that little boy. Somebody to bop that girl. Lord, I never thought I'd say that about a woman. I never saw no stuff like this. Free that little boy. You don't care about your business? Because you're going to lose it. Nobody's going to vibe with this. No 500 people in here five, 12 o'clock in the morning. It's the truth. All right, welcome for the new. I preach. I preach. I'm sorry. Sorry. I just. I just. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> huh? No, I, I feel you. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say one more thing because I know it's probably other people have. One, God was not done with you. That's why you was unsuccessful. Amen. Okay. You supposed to be here now. Where there's no thing, this small. This is the beginning of what you were supposed to do. That's what I feel like because this is this is small. This is mine. But you got something bigger and better ahead. And when you say that. Your creator cursed you out and got your mind right. What's going ha- What happens with you is God's going to meet you where you at. So however you is, that's where he's going to come to you and meet you where you at. So and if you feel like he cursed you and somebody tell you different, I don't know, baby. He met me where I was at. Right. Okay? And right. you don't have to change because God is always going to meet you where you are. Okay? Right. Right. I curse all day and all night. <laughs> and people don't think that's too much of a woman. Right. So Thank you so much. I love you so much, my baby. I appreciate it. All right. All right. I love y'all, yeah. I love y'all. Don't get it twisted. I always tell y'all that. I tell y'all that every video, I tell y'all I love y'all because I really do. Don't get it twisted. I'm so sorry. You've been on hold a long time. This thing tell me you've been on here 33 minutes. Hello? Sure. I'm so sorry. I, I want to take a call because I said 33 minutes. I would say that's my last call. But um, I don't know how can I stop it from act, taking callers at this point in time. But I'll just you must, and I got a call after you actually. But go ahead, talk to me about my baby. What's going on? Okay, so I got two points. I got one point. My thing is the red flag to the parents should have been when not one of her friends' kids was a Kaleido kid, not one. Right. So why why do you have access to a whole bunch of kids? Why didn't you use not one of them? Okay. And then my next point is we get ca- so caught up in people's images. We forget to look at their identity. She has exposed who she was a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And people overlooked it because of her images. Mm-hmm. So you don't. She used Jane's image and other kids in his identity, which is his personality, to draw people in. Mm-hmm. But they both got a destination that they got to get to. And if she's trying to use this little boy to get to whatever destination she gets to, we still got to realize if her destination is her downfall and God has to use little James to get there, then that's how it got to get done. So at the end of the day, everybody had a plan. She used her image to... She used her image and who she was to manipulate his mama. Right. 
So people could say his mama is dumb all day long. But you got to realize who this woman is and appear to be. And she does, she, we can't just give her that thought like that. Right. Because if you done laid it out in front of me and said you could do X, Y, and Z for my child. Right. And as a whole, a lot of people do not read what's presented in front of them. We only listen to what we hear. So if I say, Shakey, I can make you God, and I present it to you with bells and whistles, and you say, okay, give it to me, you sign the paper. That's what it's like when we sign warranties, and the warranties don't mean shit. All you know is the warranty, and they say if your bed breaks, you can get a new one. But it say you got a yellow spot on the top, you can't get a new one. You miss that. So that's just all I wanted to say. Don't get caught up in people's images because our images is not who we are. And our identity says it all. That's all. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for holding for so long. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. She spoke, she spoke some she spoke some good words. She spoke some real stuff. How you doing, Mercedes? Hello? Mercedes? Oh, Mercedes, she held for five, 35 minutes, Mercedes. Okay. Let me say something. She spoke some real stuff. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. I hope I didn't make a mistake and now. drop you. Yes, I can hear you. What's going on? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay, so I feel all of the energy that's going into Judy and all the wrong that's perceived that has been done. But what I'd like to see is some energy put into little James getting paid for the book that he's done. I've not heard anybody mention that. And I've not heard anybody talk about how his first YouTube was taken from him and held hostage by the people that he signed with initially. Okay. I've not heard any of that. I don't know who wrote a book. He was he could have been getting paid big money if he had access to his initial YouTube, which he does not have access to. All right, so this is the book. You're right. He wrote a book. I did not know that. Is he yeah, like, he wrote a book, and he's not getting paid from it. And also, he had a YouTube before. He was uh, went viral and all of that on a Facebook and had a YouTube that he doesn't have access to, and he could have been getting paid from that. But nobody put any effort into getting any of that unlocked for him to get paid from. I'm trying to see who published it or anything. Mm -hmm. So all I can say is at least he did get some money from Judy. What's he getting from these other people that have already taken advantage from him? And then after he gets unlocked from this contract, what's next? What's going to happen? We also Everybody wants him unlocked from the contract, but then what's next? I ex With I all of the negli a negative publicity and everything that surrounds this whole case, who wants, who's going to pick him up? Who's gonna take? Who's gonna take him on like that? Mm -hmm. That's something to think about. I just wish they could get the contract negotiations worked out. So you think Judy? They go back to the table and work some things out so that, that favors him. But I just wish it wasn't so much negativity around the whole situation. So you think that... No, Judy is not over his YouTube. No, ma'am, Judy is not over that. Not the initial YouTube. I'm talking about from the very beginning. So listen, let me ask you something. I don't know about the book I'm going to look into. Uh, what about YouTube? I'm going to look into it. I, I know a little bit about publishing because I published a book and I know a little bit about that. And so if he's not getting his... I didn't say his mother I didn't say his mother was the problem. I'm just saying this is it's a lot of negativity around it but everybody wants what's best for little James. Man, you know what I think though? I think that... So, so this is not his YouTube. This is the one that Kaleidoscope owns. Oh, uh, but you said yeah, you had that's a, that one, but there's another one. The 
And once he gets out of this contract, it's going to be nothing but vultures looking and lurking for him. So who's going to protect them then? I don't know. Whatever. And so I asked her to dig him about maybe finding an agent and maybe some type of way. I can't find the other YouTube. Wow. Facebook page either. I just, oh shit. Uh, so I did find a book. I will ask about the book and look into it. I don't know right now about the book, but if he's not getting his money for a book, I could probably help him with that because I know a little bit about that. Copyright, as soon as you come up with the idea, it's out there. I know a little bit about that. But um, it looks like somebody co-wrote it or illustrated it for him, and I will contact the mother first and then contact the first um, if need be. But one thing about it, I know that you're right. Let's get about the contract tomorrow. What happens next? That's a good question. Yeah, what next? Right. Because Lil James is talented and he should be compensated for everything, but he should be compensated from everything from the beginning of all that he's done. So listen, do you think so staying with Judy is not the answer? Certainly. Not. Now I'm not I'm not necessarily saying that staying with Judy is, is the answer. But there is a way to go back to the table and renegotiate the contract. But that would leave to him with her. Some things, no, to do some things for him to whereas if she's put so much money into him, then they can still get paid some money but not have the contract be as long as it is. So there's an easier out. I just think Judy never cared about Lil James or anything at all. I think Judy wanted to show other parents, hey, look what I've done for Lil James. And to get other people to join the Kaleidoscope Kids so that she could get them to promote her products for free. I just think that is what she wanted with him. I don't think she's a manager. I don't think she knows how to manage. I don't think she cares about anything about the entertainment business other than outside of Lauren Who popping enough to sell her product. I don't think she's a good person for this. I could be wrong. And I'm not doubting her mechanics as far as managing. But, you know, I've been in the entertainment business 20 years and I don't understand shit about it either. I think that she, so I think staying with him, her is horrible. Her, her contract wasn't for him to really entertain. Her contract was for him to be the dangling in front of other kids' eyes. Y'all want to be like Lil James? Look what I did for him. Y'all, take some pictures, do your homework, put your kaleidoscope milkshake, 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 milkshake. That's what she wanted. That's not a good place for him. She doesn't have the capacity to teach him to be entertained. I think I think to 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 to, to, to guide him in entertainment. Do I believe that he should be with an entertainment agent or something? Yes. An entertainment type person? Yes. But as far as being with her, who knows how to do hair? Because you know how to do hair. And because you're educated about the things about hair, that pretty much means you know hair. The entertainment business is a whole nother mind. And not saying that you was doing wrong by trying to expand your brain to other stuff, but at that point where you were, you should have said, well, listen, let me get some more entertainment people around me to take this on and do this for me. If you truly cared about Lil James or entertainment. You didn't. You cared about selling drops. And so I don't think that that's the right place for him under no capacity, not under a renegotiated contract, not under a rethought contract, not under a new contract, nothing. If the, do, Lil J and them really do better on their own than with her. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't think they can do better on their own. How much money are they making right now? With you. Want me to tell you? You want me to tell you? Mm -hmm. Zero. Uh -huh. so Zero. How much money were they making before? Hundreds. 
No, because they had taken their stuff. The book people had taken their money and the YouTube people had taken their money. So listen, but they had access to promote and do stuff on the Instagram page. The Instagram page but is Instagram the, doesn't make money. Lies. Lies. Are you serious? Instagram makes the most money. What you got me on the phone and uh, listen, to, you got to take mute one, baby, because I'm echoing. And I'm going to show you how YouTube makes the most money. YouTube is the one platform let me say something, that puts the cost of advertising from them to the actual influence. In the case of YouTube, which we're on now, they pay you, they pay me right now six tenths of a cent per thousand views. Does that make sense? That's the number. Six tenths of a cent. It was five before I hit three million views. When I hit three million, they give me another, they give me another tenth of a cent. So that means for every I have over three million views. The most I ever made on YouTube was probably about a few thousand because it's that's how much it is it's six and that's all you get paid the more levels you get and that's why i'm always begging y'all to share the the more percentage of it but that's what youtube rate is for coming on youtube and providing content six tenths of a cent per thousand views right on youtube on youtube so yeah, but it, you said Instagram. No, now I'm finna show you how you. They, and I'm finna show you. Took their Instagram. I mean, took their YouTube. So I'm finna show you no, how. Judy, I'm finna Judy show you. You didn't have me call and no, I'm not recording. These people are funny. So yeah, they are. I love them. So, um, <laughs> so it's, I'm not recording it though. Judy didn't have me call. So on Instagram, I so what happens? How YouTube pays me is this. People are putting ads on my page. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get paid. Some company is paying YouTube to advertise on my page. YouTube charges them, takes their cut, and at the end of the month, give me mine. That's what they do. Right, I agree. So watch that. that. Is, so, so watch that. I'm gonna tell you how Instagram model is. Bear with me, baby. I'm not. I'm not a dummy when it comes to this. So on Instagram, there is no middleman. I charge what I want to place an ad on my page. If I say okay, I'm doing promo for fifty dollars for twenty four hours. That's what I'm making directly to me, with no middleman. So Instagram, while it doesn't pay you directly, it empowers the influencer to charge based on what they think their audience is willing to pay for. So what I'm saying is the business model is slightly different, but it's more on Instagram because I set my rate. I don't choose whether I get six cents if, or 10 cents or five cents. YouTube choose, choose, choose that. I choose on Instagram. So if I say, listen, I go on YouTube for if I go on YouTube for an hour and get a thousand views, I'm getting six tenths of a cent. If I go on Instagram and a thousand views and I negotiate with a somebody say, okay, this YouTube is sponsored by Shaky. Uh, let's say, for instance, I say this YouTube is if I say my Instagram live, this Instagram live is sponsored by Sip Cosmetics. And I have to pin some cosmetics on the bottom. I can charge somebody a hundred dollars, and so now I have made a hundred dollars for those thousand views. You feel me, baby? You there? You right? Right. So, at, so she has a so Lil James has accumulated one million followers. He can say, "I want to charge two hundred fifty for promo." To post to my page, it's going to take him three seconds of work to copy and paste the 
caption, and he's made $250 in three seconds because he has that reach at this point. So while so Instagram pays more because you remove the middleman, yes, you have to do a little bit more work, which is actually find out what the rate you want and tell them and post that you doing promo specials who want it. But unlike YouTube, and in YouTube, if I if I promote a product or something, I have to designate that in a thing to where other advertisers ain't gonna give me those six cents. Six tenths of a cent. So at the same time, my baby, what this is, she had what the money was at. The money is on the YouTube, on the Instagram. Money on YouTube like that. I do YouTube because it's a platform with more intellectual talk than maybe Instagram for me. And so this is more personal. Yes, I like the checks. Don't get it twisted. And it's over here. It could stay up forever. You don't have as many restrictions. They can't report as much. That's why I was a better fit for some of the things that I like to talk about. But at the same time, for me, the money's still on Instagram. Because I can say, this. I'm doing a promo special $10. Everybody's jumping on. I'm going to sell 100 promos. That's 10 times 100. That's $1,000 I have made in a day. Over here, I, do, I did a month of work. Been over here huffing and puffing and doing prison stories and backflips and everything. And, 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 and then finally saw $1,000. So she, so yes, she could do better on her own because she could wake up in the morning and say, "Listen, I got, I got a million followers. I got promo specials going on a hundred dollars story posts. Ten people are gonna jump on it and go get a thousand dollars that day. I'm gonna be the first one. Sip, sip cosmetics gonna be the first one to cash up on a thousand dollars. I'm gonna be the first one. You gonna do it too? You got a business? Hello. Yeah. You got a business? And if Lil James do a hundred, yeah. if Lil James do a hundred dollar promo. With a million followers, you're crazy if you don't jump on it. That's beautiful. Hit your hundred dollars. If you ain't got a hundred dollars to invest in and market into your business, you don't need to be in business. Number one, but number two, if you don't notice that this is a good thing, depending on what you sell, his his followers are probably like you know people that are looking for something comedic. So I don't know. But if so, I my I sell drama. So if you have a hair shop, because my followers on Instagram are ninety one percent women. So I don't know why rappers want to promote with me. And I tell them this all the time. It don't work. Women don't listen to rap. But if you're an R&B singer, you got male strippers, you selling hair, nails, lashes, anything that women want, you want to promote with shaking. If you selling sports gear, I'm probably not the one. It just makes sense. So at the end of the day, Lil James, he doesn't know about that. His mama does have to do the due diligence of, to figure that out. Like, who is his audience and who would to charge for promo? But at the same time, they can make a living wage off of just promoting. He has a million real followers. He never bought not one. I looked at it. I looked at it. Now, Facebook is another thing. He's a social media darling, an icon. We're all on social media now. And so guess what? The money is there. Judy could have, you know, you know. Yeah, that baby, you left. Oh, what happened, Miss Mercedes? So up here, I was reading the comments. These people are funny. Oh, girl. Well, I just wish them all the best. I too. But thank you. Help them out. Get that. Get all their um original. Okay. From the people who stole all of that stuff from them. I'm going to try my best, my baby. Thank you so much. All right. Good luck, Shaky. Right. No, I don't I don't work for Judy. I don't know Judy. <laughs> <laughs> These people are funny. <laughs> All right, baby. Thank you so much. I just want to wait for little James since what's next? If, I mean... It ain't Judy. He's, he could yeah, do better. He could do, he could do bad all by himself. It was, it was the easier out. I understand. Thank you so much, brother. There's just so much negativity, though. Right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Good luck, Shaky. Help him. I'm going to try my best. <sighs> I don't want... What time? Okay, look, we, I'm so sorry for the callers. We cannot take another call. We, it's just... Because <laughs> we're going to be around. Like, okay. So, um, I do love y'all. I'm going to end with this. First of all, buy y'all got dang on uh, 
Big, baby, look, hello, Sip Cosmetics. Y'all go get it. I'm telling you this, listen, this little green bottle is going to make that face look right. I promise you. I promise you. <sighs> y'all, look, y'all so oh. Um, Bonnet's coming soon. Steve Pretty Bonnet's going to be there. Put my bonnet on. What else I got to talk about? Like, side, like, subscribe. Y'all got your mugs yet? Price going up. If I put the price up, back to this normal price. One out. Your mug. Uh, don't leave, girl. I'm going to sleep, girl. I got to get my beauty rest, girl. I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> I'm going to really... I'm going to drop something tomorrow. Keep, keep posting. I'm going to drop a little more tea on this woman tomorrow. I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all then. I'm going to drop some tea, but I got some tea. I got some tea. I got to tell him. I'm gonna drop it tomorrow. I ain't got nothing better to do. She gonna free that boy. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all, everybody, for giving me some money today. I'm sitting my baby. They give me money. They give me money. Um, what else we want to talk about? But like, scratch, share. We got some more videos up. If y'all want to go get like recaps and stuff like that, um, check. My, I will check my DM. I will. I will before I go to bed. I'm actually going to the bed. I'm checking on the phone, but and then go sleep. Um, I love y'all. It's been a night. This has been a great ass shaky. Thank y'all so much for coming and stopping by. And I will talk to y'all next time. We're gonna try, I'm gonna try to do this once a week. Egg shaking, maybe it was today, Sunday, right? Like late Sunday night. Um, just to talk about what goes on during the week and stuff like that. I like the new setup with the thing so far. It was a few little kinks we need to work out, but we're gonna do it. Um, free Lil J. Free Lil J. Free Lil J. Free them churn. Love y'all.